G'day everybody and welcome to Kanajashi and my race to Mars. Hello. It feels really weird to start a Space Engineers stream in the main menu. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm not used well. to this. <laughs> it's real weird. Um, mm. So, for today's stream... Kanajashi and I are going to be both playing in our own separate saves because lag will have a big impact on how well this goes for one of us if we were to play on the same save. Um, oh yeah, I figure there would be a multitude of 300 ping slaps into terrain and deaths. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that would slow you down a lot. Or slow me down a lot if I was on your end. Yeah. Just all sorts of messy. So it's a bit odd. We're just going to be talking to each other as we try and run through this as quickly as we can. Neither of us have been practicing this because we agreed beforehand that we'd try and do this first run rough. So obviously I had yeah. my practice a week and a bit ago, two weeks ago, whenever it was. You had your experimentation run. Yeah. And I just sort of made a little sort of possible route that I want to follow. Yeah, and you made a lot of uh, suggestions during that run that would have sped me up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like knowing how far Mars is from Earth. Um, which I have taken note of. It's, it's locked away in my brain now because it's actually going to be important for this one because if you jump and don't have the charge to re... It, it's slow, it'll slow... For this jump, because for this course, because we're only doing a single interplanetary link... Messing up the jump will actually cost you a lot of time. Um, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So it takes a few minutes to recharge that jump drive if you don't if you uh, don't have enough power right on hand. Oh yeah, and yes, you. And if you don't have enough power, that's the end of your run because obviously we'll both yeah, be probably cutting that there. bit fine, not over prepping like I did for the Grand Tour style run. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that ship was a bit a little over engineered, but a little it was probably like five time. times bigger than it needed to be. <laughs> <laughs> probably. I probably could have done it with a single small hydrogen tank. Well, that's what I'm planning for. Yeah, same. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the competition rules. This is a I'm gonna I'm gonna call it streamer vanilla. Because mm -hmm. we're going to use sneaky sounds because we all want you to have your eardrums left at the end of this. We want to be... Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be using Screen Gunk Be Gone or Kanajashi's preference of that style of mod, which basically just removes the post-processing overlays in the helmet. So you don't get the vignette effect. You don't get all of the uh, Marek scratches, that sort of stuff. The things that yep. don't... It's just nice having a clear screen. But we're not going to use any Anything else other you're using? Mods. Sorry? Those two? Just that those two? It. Yeah. Okay, so um, those two mods, they're just, just quality of life. Yeah. And then the only other thing is we're turning on Spectator just so we can do YouTube ETH stuff. If, if there's stuff you want to do, but we're not going to use Spectator for any sort of advantage. Not that there really is in this case. Although I suppose oh. if we do happen to land on the wrong side of Earth from Mars... It could advantage you in how quickly you can get out of that situation. I can't believe I had my stream muted to our talking this entire oh, time. No! I'm a dumbass. Oh no! <laughs> G'day, Kanajashi stream. <laughs> you can tell I don't stream very often. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm sorry, Kanajashi. That's okay. Oh, I probably should have been recording this as well, just in case I want to do an edit of it later. Yeah, now everyone in my chat is laughing at me. Of course they are. <laughs> That's right. As long as they're starting off the stream with laughter, it's good. Um, so this yeah, is a friendly yeah. competition. Kanajashi and I are both... I, I'm fully expecting Kanajashi to win, but I'm going to make it as hard on him as possible for that to happen. Um, Yay! Now I'm curious. I'm just going to quickly do something in my chat. Oh, you can actually... You might be able to do it in yours as well, Kanajashi. Um, uh, and if... Oh, can you send me a link of your... What? Uh, I don't know. Video? Maybe. Maybe. Will it show up for me? I don't stream. I don't oh, know how to go. do this. I got it. I got it. I got <laughs> it. I got it. It's it's whatever my no, no, thing it's is. It's all good. 
<laughs> got it. It's not that. <laughs> um, for those of you wanting to see Kanajashi's perspective, there it is. I've dropped it in my chat. Um, yeah, you can actually hear what's going on now. I'm going to pop out your chat so I can see that as well. Uh, so, in your chat, Kanajashi, you might be able to, although I'm not sure it's rolled out everywhere, you might be able to drop a poll, but I'm going to do a... Oh, I have a button for that. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do a prediction on Twitch, Ooh. but you can do a poll on YouTube for who people think is going to win. Uh, who will win the race to uh. Mars? And... I'll give myself the pink one. Now I'll give people five minutes to vote. Uh, I think that's how I do it. Bada boom. And I'm just going to say a whole bunch of thank you, so I'll be back in a sec. I, I think that worked. Uh, thank you so much, Bandelier. Hey, you. Deus Lynx. Right. Uh, I, oh, the, the poll showed up. Okay, there you go. Gruin. Who's going to win? Me or Hilted splits. Ghost. Rhinus. Oh. Degeshus. You got me in the game. For 19 months. Awesome. K Black I'm Eagle. Discodex. Enjoy. It. Hey, you again. Uh, how much have you missed? <laughs> Matcha. Hardly anything. We just started. <laughs> uh, yeah. Kanajashi's chat hasn't missed much. No, no. Thanks because so much, I didn't Discodex. The first few minutes. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Where. Right. Let's both create our game. So it's going to be a yeah. new game, custom game. Star system. Star system. Survival. Survival, two mods, spectator enabled. Yeah. Although technically we don't need to enable it because we could just um, put, like, enable um, creative mode. Ah, but then you could accidentally, like... True, true click on something in creative and then <gasps> true 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 maybe i had a uh because i plan to for the my refinery and my uh jump drive and stuff i plan to have a welder going beside it building it oh while yeah I if you accidentally work. enabled it during that that'd be a disaster and if i enable it during that just the thing will instantly build and then life is uh you know, yeah screwed up at that point <laughs> and it's like no i have to go back to the start <laughs> Oh no, I have to reload my last save. <laughs> oh yeah. Are we allowing reloads, considering how much time it costs you? I mean, why not? This yeah, is I just so. for the fun. For the fun if it run, was yeah. a true space, sorry, if it was a true speed run, it would just be like, oh, okay, restart the speed run if you like crash your ship yeah. or something. But if you don't crash your ship, I don't know, I just reload. Yeah, I think I mean, so. you're going to lose, what, up to five minutes? Yeah, yeah. Pretty pretty good penalty for not having to restart. Thanks, Natomir, for 27 months. Dang. Um, Yeah, so we've... Earth like drop pod. I'm yeah. ready at that page. Okay, I will get myself ready at that page. So you can see in the top right of our screen the um, speedrunner clock thing. Uh, I believe Kanajashi's got a few more splits set up for himself, but I've just got refinery and jump drive. So I mean big refinery and jump drive. If I forget yeah. to press the timer on that, can someone please remind me? Because I will forget. Yeah, I've got turning my lander into a plane, and then finding a place to, to uh, start my base, getting uh -huh. refinery, getting the jump drive, then getting to Mars. Okay. Five splits. Those ones, yeah, they're they're pretty. Like you have to pick stuff that's linear, and those sound, seem like they will be pretty mm -hmm. linear. Uh, but also, yeah, the, the linearity of essentially refinery needs cobalt, jump drive needs gold and silver. Mm -hmm. So you have to find those ores before those splits. Yeah. So we've got scripts are off. We've got PCU on. We're not allowed to use any blueprints we've already made. Um, so basically you're not going to be using projectors or blueprints because it's going to be quicker to just make the thing. And project, um, progress is on. So we have to go yes, through Yes, progression the, uh... is also on. And something that I think 
we both sort of agreed on, but just didn't say it this way, because we said we, sh we wouldn't use a GPS to Mars. It must be a blind jump to Mars, I think is a way for... Yeah. If, if people in the community want to try this themselves, it must be a blind jump to Mars. Uh, yes, we're on the latest... Then you could just, well. like, you could find a GPS that is exactly the perfect spot. Exactly. Like, yeah. And then you could just jump there, and then it's like two meters further, and you're in the atmosphere. No, must be, and that's why I think a blind jump's good because you've got to use a little bit of skill and uh, engineering to make sure that you can do that blind jump pretty close to right. Okay, I'm ready to rock whenever you are. All right, yeah, I think I'm ready. Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, Strawberry on, Claire. It won't really be much. That thanks, Demot. Be Mighty much B. of an issue. Thanks. Thankfully, to get Sperm the jump 84. drive, you have to go through the gravity generator, but the gravity components can be reused in the jump drive. So it's really plus minus zero to build a uh, gravity generator on the way to the jump drive. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Nope, because you use the six components into the ge generator, and then you need 20 for the jump drive, so you need to make 20 anyway. Um. I'm just going to warn my chat, and I suspect your chat's going to experience the same. For probably the first 15 minutes, the two of us are going to be really, really focused on what we're doing. So might miss a few things from chat. <laughs> so oh, just, yeah. just a heads up. i but I just won't be reading chat. Yeah, not ignoring you, just really focused. And we'll try and get back to that when I've got a little bit of slowdown time. But I just want to try mm -hmm. and get the first 15 minutes really tight because i think that's where you can lose a lot of progress mm -hmm. i imagine kanajashi feels the same yeah i think getting a first good landing spot is going to be amazing i've got a plan i've got a, a goal where i'm gonna get up and fly and get out of there and get to somewhere where i've got good chance of finding gold yeah all right are you ready i've, I've been ready for for a long time Show off. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do a countdown? Sure, let's do a countdown. And start my my splits at the exact same time. Yep, same here. In five, four, three, two, one, drop pod. Oh boy! No, my timer didn't right. start. Oh, why? Stupid keyboard. Let's right, started. get going. Yeah. Give me my hydrogen bottle. All right. Start breaking down this thing before I even hit the ground. I need the stuff out yep. of the suit. Get the landing gear ground off. Get some interior plate from the passenger seat and do all the things to grind get... it down. Build it up. Grind it down. And. <laughs> Ah, no, respawn pod. Ah. It flipped over. I think I can recalibrate. Oh this. no, it flipped. Oh, that that Let's sucks. see if I can fix this. That real sucks. Um, I have no idea if I can fix this, but we'll see. Get out of my way, passenger seat. Can I rebuild this? No, it doesn't give me anything. Okay. So inside here, I take down the beacon. I'm gonna start dumping materials into my... <laughs> take down the beacon, take down the parachute hatch. Ah, uh, that's where you're getting your computers from, the beacon. Take down, take down, then rebuild the cargo container, then take it down. Take down that conveyor tube and rebuild it. So I can get the... There we go. And now for the progression, I need to do... Grind down, refill land gear. Grind down, refill container. Now I need to get my... And build my remote control now. Let's go this way. Now it needs to be this way, because I'm upside down. You'll need a gyro to fly it. I know I'm building a gyro. Okay. <laughs> faster, 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 faster. 
See? That's all I'm, that's all I'm thinking right now. Just do it faster. Just do it faster. <laughs> I need to get the components that it posited. Oh, that's my computer. All right, the timer. There it is. That's where I get my last computer from. All right, so gyroscope is online. Now I need to get my seat back into position. I can use the offset passenger seat. Whoa. Oh, fancy. I know. All right, we're mobile. Where is ice? Where is ice? Give me ice. Is this where my sense of right. direction is going to be a nightmare and your, well, map making is going to be a big advantage to you? I can't see any ice near me at all. Oh, oh God, can I, I... I might have to restart because my I, my one gyro isn't enough to flip this thing. Uh, uh, with overrides? Uh, let's see. Overrides are much, much better at flipping. And uh, it, if it makes you feel any better, it. I'm currently still looking for an ice lake anyway. Whoa. I take it the override was enough? Jeez, that works. <laughs> still not liking me, though. I just got to figure out that override a bit better. Yeah, just uh, what I tend to do is just slide it gradually until it starts to kick in and then I right click on it to reset it to zero when it hits where I need it to be. There we go. Okay. Unlocked. Wonderful. Okay. I am in control. I got my hydrogen thruster on my bar for emergency. All right. Oh, where'd you steal and your um, uh, large steel tube for, for the um, gyro then? Did you take a thruster, thruster. Off? Oh, see, I yeah, took my hydrogen system. thruster off to get it. A hydrogen thruster is a bit more powerful, so I'd use it as the temporary flight. Okay, so now... Fair enough. Remote control. Control. I have control. Uh, lander can fly. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. I cannot find ice. I cannot find an ice lake. And snow isn't going to cut it, because snow is impossible to find ores in. Either. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The f oh no, I'm on the wrong this side thing of the planet is... too. The heck is this thing backwards? Oh, did I put my? Uh, I think I put my remote, my uh, remote control upside down. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's the worst. Oh yeah, my remote control is completely screwed up. I'm screwing up this end, this beginning. It's okay. It's just a grind down rebuild. Uh, is that ice up there? Yeah, wrong orientation on that remote control. Oh my god, where is ice? I need an ice lake. Oh, there's one. There's one, there's one, there's one. <laughs> Thanks, Silly Street Parfait, for the five gift subs. Ah, oh, there. That's better. Arg. 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 About? Like, I've, I've just barely gotten flying. I've been flying for the last three minutes! Yeah, it shows you've got a, got a lead on me now. <laughs> well, assuming you don't find an ice lake. Uh, but I, the, the ice lake I found is a long way from me still. Okay, now I can fly. There we go. Just checking. Or detector is set to max range by default, yes. Alright. That is the desert that way. That is the mountains. What was that? I think, oh, I think Mars is above me. I think I just lost it in the oh, sun. Yeah? Yes. Yes, that's the important one. I didn't want to have to jump around the planet to then be able to get to Mars. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to jump around the planet. Oh, no. Uh, so I was testing um, yesterday. One of the things that I'd recommended in my original beginner's yeah. tutorial, uh, whether F5 
respawning randomizes your drop location again because it didn't for a while mm -hmm. and it does it does again randomize your drop position so if you have a bad drop like if if you were if we were to try to do this again you have a bad drop at the start you can just hit f5 and get a new drop and when you hit f5 just restart your timer mm-hmm all right yeah so i am coasting and i'm heading oh there's a trade station up there i can see it's it's shield bubble and oh yeah, economy to... is on, but I don't know how useful that could possibly be for anyone. Because that's been going on long enough. So, what was your your prediction for how quickly you might be able to do this was about two hours, wasn't it? Two to three. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking I'll be really, really happy if I get this in around three or just under three. Like, I'll be super stoked if I manage to achieve that. Just based on my experience from um, <laughs> the, the long run um, and Top mm -hmm. Engineer where I raced from Titan. Uh, why is this only silicon? There should be something else here. Show me there's something else. Well, all I can do is hope for a lake somewhere. Oh, I just broke a landing gear. Whoops. Not all. Start flying to the east or west. Uh, ooh, is that? Oh, cool. I can see Mars as well. Excellent. I'm really oh, nice. Oh, good. I'm, I'm actually glad that's the case because I didn't want that to be the, the defining difference. Oh, man. This is not a good ice lake. I can't see any of the ores. <laughs> Please tell me you have good ores on your ice lake. No, Matcha, I didn't practice the uh, speedrun other than last... The, the, the... Deciding whether this was a bad concept stream. Uh, once... And it's an interesting concept. Yeah. At least. I, I, and I figured, um, of the people I know who play Space Engineers and create content for it, Kanajashi was the one who was most likely to enjoy this concept. So hopefully that does not pan out. I want to feel like there is a lake up here. Okay. Uh, my gut is telling me there's a lake over this ridge. I got two hours of power. There, I don't see a lake over there. God. I think there's going to be a lake up here. There is an ore patch there, but there's no way I'm stopping somewhere that doesn't have hydrogen power. Yep. You can't build it up wind turbines fast enough to keep up with the amount of power I'm gonna need. Yeah, getting the um I think I think we're gonna have a similar approach there going pro predominantly for hydrogen, but I think I'm I suspect by the way you're saying that that I might end up with a bit more wind power than you're thinking. I'm only gonna make about like six wind turbines. Oh, okay, so we might be about the same. I was thinking somewhere in that order. Or maybe nine. Uh, well, or maybe two of the, like, five towers where you do the one on top and the four around the side. Yeah. That's probably big one, this one, too. Oh, uh, there's a lake over there. I'm going to have to find gold. Far to my right. Is that either. a big enough lake for me to care? I think that is a big enough lake for me to care. I don't think hydromanning your way to Mars from the very outset would get you there in three hours. I think getting the jump drive makes you dramatically quicker. Uh, it's a five-hour trip. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I found gold. I Is that something? There's probably silver in this same deposit. Oh, uh, gold and silver are always spawned. Yeah. It's just silver you often can't see in the deposit, which is annoying. Yeah, because it's like 100 meters deep. Oh, if there's gold there, you're concern. more than likely to find silver once you get to the gold. Yeah. All right, I found like silver and nine gold. Nine times out of ten, gold and silver spawn together, in my opinion. Or iron, which means I have to rely on more stone, which I didn't want to do. Let's land over here by the stone. That's fun flying this thing like a plane. 
sound like some kind of wonky helicopter. Yeah, I'm just uh, using my uh, experience from wrong way up. <laughs> Until you, and someone Any says landing until is crash a landing. in my chat. Ugh. I need to use this daylight. I ain't point. gonna crash. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, we both know what we're doing. Sure. Come on. I know how to fly these kinds of location. crafts. I only need thrust in like two or three directions, really. The rest of it can be done. So there's silk and nickel. Spot. This is not a spot. Dang it. Ah, there's another ore patch over here. Oh, I hate finding ore patches in the mountains. It's so hard to spot on Earth like. That's why you find them in the ice lakes. So yeah, my ice lake doesn't have any iron or any cobalt. Well, that sucks to be you. Yes. Yes, it does. Silicone? It's not. It's not an ore. Oh, that might be an ore patch, actually. Oh, and there's an iron boulder. If there's no gold or cobalt here, I might just leave. Some more silicon. Thanks, Taylor really, Lion. Is this just a silicon lake? This is going to be dumb if it is. It's another deposit over here. Iron, cobalt. Yep. All right, I can work that. Dang it! Iron cobalt deposit. <laughs> He's beating me to Stop. cobalt. Hey, I swear I saw ore marking here. Where are my ores? Where are my ores at? No. And found base location. Now, oh, looks like Kanajashi's Let's got the early lead. I found cobalt, because if I don't find cobalt, they're like. I'm stuck. And it's currently daylight, so I want to take advantage of that. So it should be easy to find ores with that. Get through this ice here and get down to the iron and the stone down there. Quickly get a base set up. So. Oh. Oh, there's another, there's another spot. There's another one. Iron! Yes, there should be cobalt here. Where is it? Come on. Show me the cobalt. Yeah, give me that. Oh, give me that beautiful stone. Need to prove to myself that there's cobalt here before I gamble on this being the spot. Get in there. All right, make the ingots. Woo! I got stuff processing. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so it took me 15 or well, 14 minutes and 46 seconds to find my base. Uh, it's taken me 16 minutes and I still haven't confirmed that I found cobalt. Yeah. If I found gold or cobalt, it was an instant stop for me. Well, I found gold, but if I don't find cobalt, I can't even make use of the gold. So I'm going to have to search. And if I figure now is the best time for me to search. It's more gold. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Like, without, without cobalt, there is actually nothing I can do useful. Like, making a refinery just means that I've got to um, move it if I find cobalt elsewhere. This is frustrating. Oh, well, that's a, nice... a bad start. Right. Uh, so, this really base is going to be start. oriented this way. Let's frickin' go. That we need to get. Clear my bar off. Wind turbine. Basic. Make. <laughs> Simple refinery. Go. Let's Fuel go. 
No. I may have made my. Oh no, I've, I'm dying. What? Fuel critical. I ran out of jetpack fuel looking for stuff. Oh no. Alright. I'm just gonna get started. Quickly. I'm gonna hope that there's cobalt under that iron that I found. Ah, you'll figure it out. Is you part of my chest? Damn, you don't take much. You know how much room on you. Wait, the the kits can't process iron. Nope. Can, no. That's it was. I'm too used to getting like I think I think they can do that in industrial overhaul, which uh, is why I'm like, wait a second, why don't I just go get some iron? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's gonna be messing you up a bit, I think. But I've been playing industrial overhaul for like the past like, six months. That. <laughs> that's all right. I got lots of stuff here. I'm a happy boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I need first things for a wind turbine. So let's get that in going. Turbine, turbine. Put what I take out what I need, put rest into the build planner. Wonderful. All right, now that I've gotten to sort of the more mundane section of this, because I'm just going to be drilling a whole bunch, I can actually look at chat a little bit. Yeah. actually make a per Thanks for several different categories for space engineers. You definitely could. Um, like, on there... this, like the speed run websites and stuff, there's already categories for like... Uh, the scenarios. Um, yeah, so... beat the scenarios as fast as possible. Hmm. Like, a, like a guy who like ripped through frostbite scenario in like 20 minutes. Which is ridiculous. Agreed. Like you you don't even take time to read any of the stuff and enjoy the... <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the Thanks ambiance. Thanks, stretch lot. You just... Just get her done. Fuel low. Make my... Make my things first. Thank you. Uh, people in my chat were wondering who was saying smart move using the interior wall blocks because they're cheaper than steel plates. Oh, they are? They cost one seventh what a steel plate costs to place down the uh -oh. interior plate rather than a steel plate. Steel plate's seven kilograms of iron and an interior plate is one. Oh, thanks for the, the tip. You're Fuel welcome. Critical. Uh-oh. <laughs> Almost had my second death. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the Capac version of a speedrun here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had thought about the idea of, um, like, doing death searching. Like, just flying out, searching, and as soon as I'm low on fuel, just flying up and slamming myself in the ground to respawn back at base. Yeah, I guess that works if you are going to go out radially from your base, but it's probably quicker otherwise to just do the search and stay alive. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just right. I lost two metal grid from that death. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, it, it is and it isn't. It is if I can't find cobalt, but if I can't find cobalt quickly once I need it, I'm stuffed anyway. Yeah, but you couldn't make a... Uh small cargo container before you find that cobalt. 
by stealing all the grids. Yeah, but it, it's it's. I think by that point it's still too late anyway. Yeah. Eat the stone there. Thanks for the big tie boat. So I'm just tie boat more stone and dropping it beside my rover. <laughs> and thanks for wary ro. Oh man, rari, rari. Sorry, <laughs> I can't figure out. Yeah. Too many con person uh, asking bounce. how long do I expect to take? I'm thinking between two and three hours. Yep. All right. I, I think that's Done. a fair estimate. Powered up. Ah, Ruri, thank you. I All will right. remember that, I hope. Let's get the basic assembler on. Basic, you've already got your basic refinery down. Hmm? Are you going oh, assembler first? The refinery first. Ah. Well, I was just going to place it. All right. I've got, an, I've got an order here, and I'm still using steel plates because I just... I can't stop. <laughs> All right. I might be about to lose a little bit of time thanks to my dog. I think she wants to go out. Oh, I can hear my dog upstairs squeaking her toy. <laughs> Charlie keeps scaring herself um, by with the squeak toy that my aunt gave her. Because <laughs> we'd never given her a squeaky toy. So we're like, oh, she's a big dog. Don't really want to get her used to the idea of chewing squeaky things being a good thing. Um, oh, yeah. So we hadn't, but then it was a gift. So we're like, yeah, whatever. She can have it. Fuel if possible, I want my uh, doggo to kill all the squirrels. <laughs> Fuel uh, see, the only squeaky things around here are probably going to be children. So that seems suboptimal. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Rock Astro. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm holding on to my gun and stuff. Yeah, oh, thanks, yeah. chat. You should not need Divide a gun. all those things. I just can't put the, um, the radio components and stuff away, and I kind of don't want them to be deleted yet. I'll hold hmm. on to them for now. It, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm mining stone too fast for my processing at this moment, so yep. it's fine. Uh, so my list here, uh, I need two turbines to cover my initial refinery assembly. Okay. Inventory full. At least we know that this first race is going to be so bad that um, we will be able to beat these times if we do this again. Look the way it's going oh, so far. Right! God, people are so smart. I can put components in the seat. Yep. Just like I where just you got the rifle from in the first place. I just didn't want to be clanging around in the ship while I was renovating it. Excellent. Let's refill my, my bottle. Thanks so much for the five more subs, Lost and Stole. Because you never stop. Oh, one second. I'm going to let the dog out. She's getting antsy. Yep. Ow. Thankfully, I took my dog for an extremely long walk. We went to the neighboring park. You back? Yep, I'm back. This morning I went and spent about three hours walking my dog, went to the neighboring park, found a couple other dogs for her to play with, got her right tired. <laughs> that is a good way for a dog to be. Yeah, she also jumped into a giant mud puddle because that's the kind of dog she is. So mm. she uh, was filthy and required a, a spritz with the hose. But yeah, your dog's a lot um, fluffier than mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, the goal is uh, survival kit. Oh yeah, we didn't actually landing specify that, did we? Mars. Yeah. Powered respawn point to Mars. How did we forget to say that bit? I don't know. <laughs> I I forgot to unmute. Like... <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Inventory full. There is that. Yeah. You don't need like 
nothing else is specified, but as long as it has the grid has power and you're locked to the surface of Mars. Yep. Uh, what dog do I have? I have a German Shepherd. If you go to my Twitter and go back in time, you'll see a lot of photos of her as a puppy <laughs> because she is a cute little doggy and the best doggy that has ever existed. This is this is an unusual corner of the internet that is um, full of puppies rather than kittens. Yep. I dug my hole down to stone in just the right way that I can just slide down it like an amusement park ride and plop into the bottom. Nice. Bouncing off the walls. Uh, drop the stone here and go get more! <laughs> okay, 17 more steel plate and we got a refinery. Oh, nice. You are making progress. Oh, please tell me I can build a beacon. I mean, an ore detector. No! What do I need to unlock to build that? <laughs> I just accidentally grounded off my ship. Oh, oh that's no good. Oh, yeah, I need to build a refinery. That's fine. Go find his uh, Twitch. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I'm also needing TV 17 slash steel plates. Splitsy and Kamijashi's link has been dropped in chat a few times by a couple of people, which is helpful. Feel free to drop that as many times as people ask for it. Everyone in chat. Wait, wait, why can't I get the motors out? Oh, there we go. I also need. Why did it say I only need the steel plate? I also need these construction components. Damn it! You silly thing. Okay, refinery built. Refinery built. Nice. Uh, Get that stone into the refinery. Alright. Gordon, wind turbine can handle the refinery. Oh, yeah! Refinery's going. Right. Now I can go and right click down to this iron. And I think a whole load of iron is going to give me a a good kickstart here. Yep. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh give me that man, iron. Man, my iron boulder's three k's away. Oh, you're running off of a boulder? Oh, that's the nearest thing. The underground deposit's five k's away. Oh. Because I I'm in like this um. Kind of like a Helm's Deep sort of situation. So it's mountains yeah. all around, which makes it really, really, really hard to spot the ores on the mountain surface. Especially since yesterday mm -hmm. I was testing Ooh. and I've cranked Beautiful my graphic settings to ridiculous. So I've got trees and grass everywhere. Bonk, 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 bonk. Ow. Oh man. Do you, do you know the first thing I thought of when I was testing new weapons? What's that? Yesterday. Ah, oh, this is going to be great the wrong way up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, ooh, how can I upgrade my planes to, to make things go boom? Oh, I'm, I am very glad you're enjoying doing that because you know, it's, a, it's a very different setup to what. I've ever done before in Space Engineers, so it's 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 a different experience, and I, I wasn't mm -hmm. sure how well it was going to play out. Oh yeah, it feels good to withdraw over a thousand iron. Oh, that should be my. Okay, I can get my assembler working here soon. Let's get that into the build planner and get it in. And I have the resources for that. Excellent. My assembler will be built in a couple minutes. Ow. Can I make this trip without running out of hydrogen? Don't you have your tank? I do not have a bottle. 
What? Lost ah. with my corpse. Oh. Oh, damn, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I've made this hard mode for myself. Uh, you know, <laughs> normally I do that on purpose. This time, not so. I mean, I had the, the start where I flipped my, my ship and then put my remote control in the wrong direction. Yeah, I have a feeling my start might be worse than yours right now. <laughs> yeah, I think my start got salvaged by the uh, good ice lake. Also, I placed something wrong. Alright. Yes, give me another thousand iron. Uh, refinery in the tracker is full refinery. That means after cobalt. Just so you guys know. People asking in my chat why I haven't do my uh, my split yet. I have some, I imagine someone might have asked in my chat too. Same reason. Uh, Same I'm just reason. Move my OBS over to that monitor. There we go. Oh, nice. No drop frames. God, I love it. I had internet got upgraded a while ago, and it mm, makes life so much better. Ah, uh, yes, internet upgrades do make your life better. <laughs> Alright, I think I need a little bit more stone just to get some silicon stuff. Because I don't plan to target mine silicon and nickel. Oh, I think so with enough stone I can do it. So one of the things that I was looking at last night with regards to Wrong Way Up was... Uh, how I'm going to turn off the AI tracking for the new control block. Mm -hmm. uh, and thankfully, Graz uh, has shown me a way that I can at least make it basically useless. Because that AI oh, tracking always... on a rotor turret is just insanely effective. Oh, you just turn it off, too. You yeah. have to enable the AI tracking on that. Yeah, thankfully, it is seal. by default. We just off. follow the rules at that point. <laughs> yeah. But I thought I'd just turn it off just in case um, someone forgets. <laughs> Capac. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I don't expect Capac to be making rotor turrets. I taught him how to do it. Yeah, but is he really? Okay, fair point, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, out of all people they are going to make rotor turrets, it's going to be me. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I am the rotor turret uh, aficionado. Thanks, Looney Lamb. I'm just excited about the fact that my rotor turrets are going to have AI targeting without the need for a designator. That makes me really happy. Mm. Oh no, the sun is setting. Goodbye, sun. Yeah, I'm in the dark already. Oh, jeez. Just wait on motors and good, computers. That's a good screenshot now. That's beautiful. Watching the sunset over the mountain. All right, back to work. This is All annoying. Right. I need to wait until I get the basic assembler so I can make a new bottle. And I can go and try and get some further away ores. Stuff that I need, like cobalt. I hoped that at this point I would have a little bit of cobalt just processing in the background whenever I didn't have something else to refine. Because mm -hmm. you need quite a lot of cobalt for the jump drive. Yeah, I am going to be building multiple basic refineries for blasting through cobalt. So now I'm just busy working myself and mining stone to try and get something. Uh, out assembler! Of out of time. Ooh, Kanajashi beats me to the basic assembler. Okay. That's Excellent. the downhill right. run begun. Oh. Okay, next up is uh, finding some cobalt and making a full refinery. Actually, no, full assembler. That should be the next thing. Yeah. yeah. Assembler. I'd agree with that order. Metal grids. But whichever order. Next up is uh, I do need more wind soon. Because I'm only running on one turbine right now. And then I'll need assembler and full refinery okay so now i can take everything from here and move it over
What's next? Wind turbine. Uh, give me that interior plate. Let's go up and set some wind turbines in position. Okay, basic assembly built. You know, we're pretty neck and neck here. Yeah. Because we each had bad things happen. <laughs> yeah, but... Like, no, it's good. I'm, I'm. It's working out. Yeah. The closer this is, the better it is, I think. Oh, uh, assembler? Did I misorient my assembler or something? One second, I just gotta check that. Oh no, that would be annoying. Did I? No, I didn't. Where's my nickel? nickel, nickel. It's correct. Why is... why are you not working? Uh, does it have enough power? Probably not. Alright, respawn pod, continue to make me, uh... my stuff. What do you need? Dang it. I can't see the nickel. A couple hundred stone, a little bit of nickel, a little bit of nickel. Okay. Should have gone to closer one anyway. Done. You're wasting time, Splitsy, you're wasting time! Calm down. It's okay. <laughs> Just annoyed at myself. <laughs> Breathe. I'll see you. Uh, whatever. It will be fine. <laughs> <sighs> I need power. I'm going to sit in my seat. Okay. Right. Next step, let's make. And powerful. All right. I'm still good on hydro. You are processing. I'll just continue bumping ore into my refinery. If all else is just processing, just continue doing. <laughs> so, somebody in my chat says, uh, you have no excuse if Kapak isn't here for being slow. <laughs> That's not true. Doesn't matter whether Kapak's there or not, you can always hashtag blame Kapak. <laughs> He's like an enigma. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing that t-shirt right now. Because as a joke, I actually did make that t-shirt. <laughs> what, blame Kapak? Yeah, hashtag blame Kapak. <laughs> I have a t-shirt on. That's awesome. It. I also have a t-shirt um, of hashtag blame Catpack. All right. Can you show me those, some of those, um, whatever they were. Does oh, yeah, the fan art. Stickers. By um, uh, Black Shadow. Mm -hmm. They were awesome. Breakers. Oh yeah, I'm gonna grind down the thrusters and put a cargo container on the base. I'm not there yet. I don't have enough power to get my Lost assembler Light. running. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, chat. I know how to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough now? Can it's an interesting run? test of how much the two of us know the game, though, isn't it? It's a very different way of thinking to what we normally do, which is just what do we need next, not trying to think three steps ahead. What the heck is wrong with my assembler? How many turbines have Why? you got? I got two turbines running. It should only need 280 kilowatts, and I'm making like 800. Hmm. Yeah, mine, mine are running off just the two turbines it's uh, I don't know what this thing's doing I'll just replace it all right basic assembler yeah your cargo goes into there That is 100% the right direction now. So if this doesn't work, then it's just dumb. Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, your, your setup should be working because it is the same as my setup and my setup is working. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Adaranen, for posting Kanachashi's link for uh, Why? Appreciate it. What? Why can't I move materials? It's not letting me move materials between them. The conveyor system just is, like, broken. Are you... You're trying to move it into the top slot, right? I mean, I'm trying to move it to any slot. It just... It just, uh, grays out like it's not connected. Oh. Uh, should we... Do you want to pause and do a reload? It'll be fine. I just need to build a seed or something like that so I can, uh, turn the grid off and on again. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, I've... Not seen that happen. I know. I don't want to win through unfairness like that. That's no fun. Not that I'm going to win. But if I did and that had happened, it'd be like, ah. <laughs> For those in chat thinking that I'm going to greeble my way into a corner or Kanajashi's going to greeble his way into a corner, we're both going to do it, so it's fine. We're both Dribble. similarly prone to that issue. Ah, uh, but only when I have lots of time. Not now. I got a speed run. Do you reckon you'll be able to keep to that idea, though? <laughs> Do you reckon you'll you'll fall foul of temptation? Oh no, I got no temptations to people right now. Really? I got it all out of my system working on upgrading my planes last night. <laughs> I've always got temptation to grieve. It's part of who I am, man. It's the grid, no, the, the, it's all connected in the grid. Z in the control panel, everything's here. It's all part of the same grid. It's just not functioning for some reason. I am just going to... Uh, I'm just going to rotate the assembler and just manually feed it for now. Just so I can get it working. Fair enough. Because, whatever, I'm going to make it a full assembler later and it's going to have, like, four speed modules on it. Anyway. Yeah, it's probably going to be one of the first things to do, isn't it? Yeah, as soon as I figure out why things are, uh, broken. Yeah. Okay. Now, you. I will feed you directly. I cannot get higher tier tools because I don't have cobalt and I can't get the next tier up because I don't have silver. So I can't get better tools. Fortunately, I would like to get better tools because there are many things that would be sped up by it, but I just can't. I need okay. to get I need to get this vehicle working so that I can fly it over to that iron deposit and try and find Cobalt, because I couldn't find Cobalt. Uh, cargo so. containers next. I need interior labor. <laughs> interior labor. Cargo container. That. You. Into your build queue. That. Grab that. Materials. Plunk it into there. Finally, that assembler is functioning. Ah, whatever. I have to manually feed it, but at least it's working. Oh, that's good. I'd actually... I'd been tempted to just place mine down so I had to manually feed it, just to remind myself to remove it quickly. But you don't really want to have it as... thing for too long. Oh no, there's lightning. If I get struck by lightning, I, I'm out of this race. Oh. I don't have time to try and build protection against that. Ah, you'll be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna chance it. Hope for the best. Yep. It's all that can be done. Like how people are all still like trying to 
theory craft why it wasn't working in my my chat. I was like, I don't know. I've moved on. I've stopped caring. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not it's not like how we normally play the game where we're like, why? I want to know why. This is like uh, this is this is working. I don't care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very, it is a very different mindset, and it's a weird one to have to take on when you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna build a, a big assembler right now. All right, but that is gonna require my cobalt. Uh, Come on, please show me cobalt. This should be cobalt with this iron. This only shows me iron and ice, in which case I am going to be so upset. <laughs> there was cobalt around here, because I did see it before I stopped. I see iron. No. I just can't remember where it was. I wasn't mistaken, right? I did see cobalt before I... I think it was just... Oh, God, this weather. I got fog. I still haven't found cobalt. And Dude, it is not time. iron here. I I know it was at this ore deposit. I think I just need to dig down close enough to it. I think it was near the beginning of this ore deposit. Let's just dig an exploratory hole. Why not? Did you not GPS mark your stuff as you found it? Well, I landed on the cobalt deposit. Oh, right. Because iron and cobalt. Right, right, right. So I know it's here. I just can't remember what part of my deposit it was. I mean, I theoretically could take off my little thing again to take its order. I should probably do that. Just take off and troll around really slowly. Figure out where it is with my ore detector. Because I don't need this thing. Oh wait, I took all of its thrusters off, so I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Joyous. No, I can't match up because tier two drills require cobalt. I don't have cobalt. I know it's down here. Unless I'm, in, I'm insane. Oh, the plus one drill doesn't. Oh, is the plus one drill just regular stuff? Is there anywhere in this thing I can store stuff? Let's, uh, let's check. Yeah, plus one is regular stuff for uh, the drill. It's the plus two that requires the extra stuff. Dang it, I forgot. I take it back. Apologies, chat. Apologies, match it. I haven't found cobalt, but I'm coming back with a bunch of iron at least. Well, that's something. Yes. If I can't find this cobalt, I'm in so much trouble. Hey, I thought I spot. I thought I landed on cobalt. Now I can't find it. You're fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, get rid of that other drill, and now I can do the better drill. Can I build a large grid ore detector? Do. Can I make detector components right now? Uh, I think you can from the regular. You can. Nice. Not ah, sure. Regular assembly. Make an ore detector then. Let's screw around. Let's make an ore detector. Just Keep have it. to use the wrong way up mystery ores mod. Because <laughs> we never know what anything's going to be. Yes, Splitzy is using P, because it is quicker than having spent time to set up my hotbar. It makes me feel unclean. I think my bar out. Okay, production. There we go. There. <laughs> oh, 
I see 673 concurrent viewers. Nice. Which is nice. Very nice. Get me on those detector components. Let's go get some more, some more iron while I'm waiting. You never have too much iron. I mean, clang drives, I guess, are allowed. We never said no, but I don't have enough experience, and you'd probably explode. We, we, I, I thought when we were talking about it, we decided that clang drives are fine because that you can't use a blueprint. And you would have, and you can't use scripts. So to try and drive a clang drive in a useful fashion would be next to impossible. So like no manually, one... yeah. So if you can pull that off, all credit to you. <laughs> like honestly, that's an amazingly impressive feat, and you should be commended. I think. God, it's already been fifty-three minutes. That's yeah, it goes past real fast, doesn't it? It certainly does. What do you need? You need nickel. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to go process some stone here. I'm running out of nickel. thing is you're still going to need to do all this start stuff even if you try and use some degree of clang to get off the planet because you still need to build a jump drive because you're still mm -hmm. limited to 100 meters a second even with a clang drive There's that. so honestly you're probably quicker to build a very basic hydrogen ship than you are to build any sort of clang drive Hence why we didn't feel the need to exclude it, because we both agreed that it was probably not the fastest way of doing anything. Oh, I probably should have gone for that unknown signal. You reckon? Well, I, yeah, no, it could have some specialties, some, some fun stuff in it. It could. Or it could just be a waste. Yeah, <laughs> it could. Or it could give me another cow rifle. Badger rifle. Badger drill. They're the thing I think I've got the most of. Badger, badger, badger. Why are you not filling my inventory? Which nickel do I need? I need a hundred nickel for all this stuff. Yeah, I need to find nickel. Eh, I'll get there. Inventory full. It's gotta keep on drilling, keep on drilling. No blueprints. That's why I can't project a ship that I already have. Ah, was there nickel at one of those deposits back there? I mean, I could definitely go to go check it out. Just fill up my my tank and uh, go for a little hippity hop. So I'm, I'm gonna do something real weird. Um, because I think there should be cobalt where I found the iron, but I just can't see it, even having drilled down to the iron. I'm going to go up there with my pod, and I'm going to rotor attach a large grid detector to it. Isn't there a work pass it? Because I think it's the quickest way to do it. There's silicon here. Thanks, Darth Trucker. Is that other deposit? Uh... God, they're hard to see at night. Yeah. Ah, there it is. My computer's five motors. 
more silicon. Oh, I found magnesium. <laughs> Not like that's needed. No, I think that that could be a different type of speed run. <laughs> Competitive speed run if we did that. And we probably have to find a server in Hawaii or something yeah. to make it even. Here's another deposit. I think. Is this a deposit? Oh, <gasps> silver! Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm marking this up. Come on, give me my detector components, game. That's good. There's probably gold down there too. Yeah, the, my chat was very adamantly saying there will be gold and silver together and that's been my experience as well. They are together. When I did my um, season three where I drove around a planet and marked up every like deposit that I drove over, there was maybe like two gold deposits that are gold by themselves and there was like 20 gold and silver together. Yep. I don't know where these ores are. I'll fuel up again. Huh. Ooh, don't hit the turbines. We done processing. Thanks, Sesink. I mean, I could undo some of these. Craft a bunch of the stuff that I have here, real quick. But disassemble those uh, motors for me. Get that nickel out of it. Okay. Why don't you ever use slash GPS text? Because I'm not used to it, so I'll never remember to do it. <laughs> I have such a se bad sense of direction that I need to mark everything. Uh, nickel is at. Nickel was with the silicon. Okay. Yeah, I've been finding nickel, magnesium silicon together but also uh, there's another nickel silicon combo that isn't magnesium I think this is for patch again there's this patch which is silicon magnesium let me just dig down and see an if there's some good stuff kind of oh cool I thought I'd be further than this. Oh, well, maybe we're looking for like three or four hours instead of yeah, two or I think, three. Yeah, I think we might be at that sort of time frame, given our struggles in different ways. <laughs> no, no, no. Respawn button. Luck. Thank you. Oh, for a second, I had a freak out thinking that I hadn't actually... Um, Unlocked roses. I mean, I'll grab a little bit of silicon here just because I can. But I'm down below the ores now. Don't see any nickel here. But there's the silicon. Might as well grab a. Uh, Container, like a full uh, load of that. That's not right. See, see, I'll use it. Slash slash GPS silicon. Slash GPS, there we go. Yeah. There you go. Are you happy now? It has, <laughs> annoyingly, it has to be lowercase GPS. That should work. Oh no, it won't! Oh, this is going to be annoying. I'm on such a crooked slope trying to get a rotor, a large right. rotor head to attach to a small rotor.
Yeah, there's probably some more ore patches. I'll do some more searching in a bit here. I just want to get this ore detector online and see if it does anything for me. Thanks, Nandgate. Thanks, Priority 4. Okay, that's 18 of the detector components. Ooh. Actually, no, that's all of them. Detector components complete. It should be. Yeah, there we go. Or, or detector online. Let's see. Well, I don't know how much I've wasted doing this. So there's my gold. Awesome. That's underneath me. I got cobalt and gold at my, my landing location. Really? What the heck is going Iron, on? Iron, cobalt, and gold all at my landing location. Oh, okay. My, my so, AE key got stuck down for a second. Sorry. Uh, okay, so cobalt's out. 145 meters that way. Let's go. I'm going to have to land somewhere flat. This is impossible. I bet there's other resources under the ice here. I just need to slap down like a wind turbine on a uh, on an ore detector at each of these places to actually figure out what what's there. Oh, see, that's what I should have done. Kind of actually had the right approach. Instead of rotoring this thing onto the thing, I should have brought enough for a wind turbine. Eek, 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 eek. I'm a smart cookie when I want to be. Just one more try. No, stop switching back to small grid. Urgh! Urgh, I've wasted like 10, 15 minutes on this. This is so annoying. <laughs> it's not <laughs> a plan. There's nickel at the silicon mine oh, without magnesium. Up. Thank you, chat. I'll go get it later. I'm, I'm going to find this cobalt point. to get at least one load of cobalt processing. Am I... <laughs> Look at my tunnel. I am nowhere near straight. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm bad at digging tunnels. This tunnel is wiggly as heck. <laughs> I need an antenna on this base, if I can... Which I can't build yet. Where is an antenna in the power trucks? Uh, I need to make a beacon to make an antenna. I need 40 radio computers. Yeah, never mind. Never mind, I was doing that. <sighs> it is down there, right? Cobalt, 148 meters in that direction. Which, I started digging in that direction. And then I started digging off to the right. Ugh. I already uh, I sliced down the beacon on the lander. It's gone, unfortunately. I'm just not making antennas this run. Oh. No. Uh, Chad, I don't think I'd be able to fly a helicopter-style bit out in a way to be able to actually lock on to an existing rotor part. I just don't think I'd be able to do it. My flying's just not up to that oh, level of skill. Small grid beacon. I used to do that. God damn it! Where is this I cobalt? Think this is be flying back. This cobalt is pissing me off. All right, I'm gonna build an antenna so I can have those deep broadcasting. Beacon. 
I should have the radio communication points for this, because they already exist. I just need two steel plates. Uh, I don't think that'll help, Jackson. Fill that up. Cut it down. In then I wonder, oh, it'd probably be so much easier. I'll do a, a rotor to small grid to small grid antenna instead of building a big grid one. Oh, yeah, that would definitely be quicker. Oh my god, I just tried to use build vision. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so hard to get out of that habit, isn't it? Yeah, I just tried to uh, shift click on something, shift middle click on it. And I was like, wait, why can't I do that? Okay, stupid little antenna. Broadcast, yes. Broadcast me that cobalt. Now I can get it. Come here, you cobalt. Bastard. I can see where you are now. You ain't getting away from me. There we go. Going for cobalt. Ah, once I get cobalt, I can upgrade my little ship to flies. It'd be awesome. Yeah. In all my imagination of doing this, I did not imagine not being able to find cobalt for this long. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, chat, I Is will need a chair to be able to see whether there's cobalt here, but I'm just going to use the chair from the lander. Or I can just do this. Hey, if you want to, it. you can just like... Is it nighttime where you are now? Yep. Make it day. Make them easier to see if you need it. Nah, I, it, it wasn't easy for me to see them even during the day. I was struggling regardless, so I think it's... Unfortunately, I think I've just done really badly at my searching, and I just couldn't spot stuff that was on the ground. Man, this cobalt is deep. Okay, there's cobalt here. This is good. Yay! You found it! Yeah! <laughs> uh, 130 oh, meters that down. Blue. Oof. I wonder I couldn't spot it. Go away, go. stone. Grind away the stone. Uh, I guess when it's 130 meters down and I'm on the side of a mountain, yes, it is probably faster to go down from the side, assuming I don't get lost. But because I know that if I go straight down here, I will run into Cobalt, I'm probably better taking the known safe path than the unlikely safe path. Hey, Kinata. <laughs> How's your day going today? <laughs> After yesterday's busyness. Damn, that hole's deep. All right, I am marking up my Cobalt hole. <laughs> and this will be my Cobalt gold hole. Right, cobalt in the machine. Uh, Kanajashi has beaten me to cobalt. As was expected. <laughs> Thanks, Magic, for giving Kanata a song. I just saw in your oh, chat, um, this is you getting there first, is payback for me killing you uh, a couple of times I have in. <laughs> Wrong way up. Well, that's my job in Wrong Way Up to Die. It is. And I'm incredibly grateful for you and all the other guys that are playing that role. Because 
it's a tough role to take on because you you have to try to just barely win if you win but most <laughs> of the time your intent is to lose in an entertaining fashion or do damage while losing in an entertaining fashion that's a really difficult balance to hit yeah you have to be like um the bad guys from like a like 90s cartoon yeah like oh god power rangers yeah uh what do i need i need 10 cobalt and Aha, a nickel. i can see cobalt all right i have the 10 cobalt yes my assembler is going to be online my full assembler nicely done The only chance I have of catching up now will be if I can get the gold processing done faster than you, the gold and silver. Mm -hmm. Okay, now can I transfer to that assembler? <laughs> can I stole, si stole Steve? Yes. <laughs> I can. Okay. Screw you, basic assembler. You were dumb. I'm working with big assembler now. I'm actually going to cut you down, because screw you. There we go. Okay. Sweet. I got a full assembly function. Nice. So that means I could theoretically make even better drills. Uh, they require silver, which I don't have. I could get, but I don't have. Everything is processing stuff. The next thing to do is full refinery. Which I'm going to be fun and make an industrial refinery because it looks cool. They cost the same, don't they? Yep. Don't recall actually ever checking. Uh, put it this way. Yeah, that looks really good that way. Cool. All right, let's do it. Yeah, where's my pod? Where's my pod? Lose your pod. I just did a. I just had a splitsy sense of direction moment, and then I remember that the, I left my beacon on my pod for a reason, <laughs> which is my terrible sense of direction. Okay, so that is all that. Wait, oh, computers? I do. Why can't I pull those out? Come on, give me those computers. Okay, everything from here now goes into build production. Where did I start my home? There it is. Actually, no, that's wrong. I probably have that in my... Yes, I have that in my build planner twice. That's incorrect. That's better. Actually, I'm going to go back down in that hole and I'm going to fill up my inventory. Although I don't need that many steel plates. A little bit extra it is. Let's build that out a little bit more. Oh, yeah, I can remove the detector in a bit. I kind of want to be able to see where my gold is for now. Oh, wait, I should mark this spot down here. I also want to start making some conveyors and stuff here. Because I want to separate this a little bit and then get a cargo container up. Making one at least of those, thank you. Because I need... Space for my modules, my upgrade modules on all sides here. Okay. Uh, where are our upgrade modules in the... Are they? Uh, they are behind the refinery. Then you get upgrade modules. Okay, good. So for the refinery, I am... Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to... that you... You're, you have such a good memory that you actually have never experienced progression enough to remember it you actually remember to turn it off when you start a series. Mm-hmm. I am not going to build this refinery manually. Let's build a, um, a welder beside it. I just need two motors. Really, do I not have enough nickel? God, I really need nickel. Ah. 
glad I mined a bunch of nickel before I went off to find that cobalt because I spent so long doing it. Hopefully most of it's refined. Yeah. Once I get this welder turned on, then I'm going to go and I need to use the washroom, but then I'll go and fly off to that uh, nickel and get it going. Wait, don't I have enough here? Do I have enough for at least one? No, I need a little bit more stone. God damn it. Then I'll go get the nickel. And then I probably need to upgrade my power. <laughs> KJ jibber jabbers a lot. Kanajashi okay, has this thing where he, he says pretty much everything he thinks. It's actually not a bad thing for a content creator. Oh, yeah. I mean, you gotta keep your, your mouth flaps moving for the hours and hours that you have a stream going. So it's, it's something that Kanajashi and I have talked about before, because I, I always... Um, I edited... Well, that for me. I did most of my uh, constant chatter through editing, whereas he just got better at talking constantly. Yeah, it was funny. It actually helped me um, become better at public speaking. YouTube. Oh, I absolutely. I have no doubt it would. Uh, I'll steal some of these plates. There we go. Get some more turbine up. They can two la two layers of turbine. Six of them. I just need to wash them real quick, right back. Alrighty. Now's my chance. <laughs> I don't think I've got a chance. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Oh dear. Oh, what do I need more of? Cobalt. God, have I got enough silicon? I've got enough silicon. Get this assembler up, and then I'm gonna focus on getting. I think I'm going to get this ship built before I try and build the big refinery. Because I'd like to be able to mine more um, iron more quickly. <laughs> He's not watching. Go creative. No. No, I'm not going to cheat. <laughs> what? I, I, uh, Ecto I on your page just said in my chat. I'm not going to cheat. I'm like wondering what you did while I was gone. <laughs> Uh, Ecto, one of my chats, like, quick, Kanajashi's not watching. Go creative. <laughs> <laughs> I'd find out in the vlog later. Or the, the VODs. Yep. Okay. Well, that thing is All right. building Assembler itself, which is wonderful. being welded. It's a full tank. So you guys say that there was nickel over here, eh? Oh, if I need a better welder. Just build a grid welder. Let it uh, do it for you. I will for certain things, but for the assembler that I'm currently welding, it's not really practical because I've already got all the components in it. There we go. Assembler done. Make a basic assembler, you can go away. The parts can be used for other things. This one, eh? Nickel! Yeah. Yay! So many bits. You guys were right. There was nickel here. My chat's so smart. Oh, no, that's silver. I needed. Oh, I did need cobalt for the advanced tools. Just not for the advanced drill. The uh, one chevron drill doesn't need it. The the welder and grinded it. That's why I'd gotten myself confused. Oh god, so much ice. I don't need the ice, I need the nickel. Alright. Okay. And I'll mark up my nickel hole.
and live action this. Uh, I don't think disassembling the old tools is actually worth my while. Uh, the time it'll take me to mess with the menus to get the disassembly done is not worth the time it would take to get those materials in another way. Here we go. Nickel is going into the system. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, my build planner still has my wind turbine. Thanks, PJ. It's tough. I need my motors. Build here. We need atmos. We need. Did you run? Are you running out of? Oh man, I ran out of iron. Okay, that's a problem. That's okay. I've got an iron deposit directly into below me. I was so worried about all these other materials. Oops. I was like, all right, iron. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, don't, 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 don't tip over. Oh. Rats. Get that iron processing. Now they got a good start on the nickel. I did a dumb. I was getting rid of my survival uh, kit yes, to move I it out of the way. Yes, I put yield modules on the back of my, uh, my refinery as soon as it's built. So that way, I calculated it out. So you need about 75,000 uh, gold, 75,000 kilos of ore, and this way, you only need 40,000 kilos of ore. And the motors go into this thing. Oh, they did. I need two more. I just flipped my miner. Flipping my motors. Okay. And that's... that's Splitz is going quiet. Yeah. I'd accidentally muted myself to say thank you and then forgot to unmute myself. Ah, okay. I just flipped my miner. Oh, that's not good. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. But I did. Uh, I should be able <laughs> to fix it, though. I was taking the survival kit off the basic pod and I rolled it forward because I didn't have it because it was no longer locked to the ground. Oh no! Thankfully, Dyro is plenty strong enough for me to fix it. Oh, here we go. Our big refinery is going to come online in about six seconds. Nice. And some speedy work. Functional. Hour and 25 minutes. Very nicely done. Where are my tools? All right, you can work on the iron and the silicone. How are we doing for power? We've got good power, basic refinery, industrial refinery. I should be good on power, which just makes me happy. Uh, I'm gonna be ship mining as well in a couple minutes here. Um, I am actually going to be putting a dock right here, right now, actually. <laughs> make the big refinery and then make the thing into a, uh, a miner was my, my strat. Yeah, that was my plan, but with all the things going wrong, my plan's gone out the window. No plan anymore. Conveyor. I'm just winging it. Conveyor. Uh, corner tube connector small grid connector small grid tube 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 there we go what do you need you need more everything i need more of everything all right, all right you industrial refinery can work on the cobalt all right 
No, I can't use an auto sorter. There's no mods. No scripts. It's vanilla, boys. <laughs> Wait, where am I? I'm lost. That's the cry of everybody who ends up playing with me for a couple of times. <laughs> it's vanilla. I have to do this. Blame me. Blame Splitzy. Yeah, I'm fine with vanilla. It's good stuff. It's nice to remember how the game actually plays for people who can't play with mods. <laughs> yes, rip the miner from the first speedrun where I crashed it on one of its last runs that I would have been using it for. Turbine. Let's grab some interior plates and steel plates. And you are done, Mr. Uh, welder. I can grind you down and use your bits. Thank you for welding up my... Uh... I could have used you again, but whatever. I'll yeah. reposition you later. <laughs> it's Capax okay. fault I blamed myself. There you go. Always blame Capax. I'm sure Kanajashi blames cat back whenever something goes wrong and wrong way up. Oh, of course. Why wouldn't you? Exactly. That's what he's there for. Uh, yes, my world did break the new update, which is sad. Yeah, any... Is that because of industrial overhaul not being ready for it yet? I loaded a brand new save with just industrial overhaul and it functioned. Mm. But I think that it's some part of the um, industrial overhaul hooking into uh, water mod. Oh. I don't know exactly, but it means I'm just going to have to wait. That's That's really disappointing. One more turbine for now, and then I'm done with power for a while. I hadn't intended it, but it's kind of worked out well that we plan to do this vanilla thing straight after the update. It's just always safer to be able to play a little bit of vanilla when an update comes out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to have an assembler function. Eighth wind turbine, powering the base. Okay. Uh, I should start laying out my H2 systems. Oof. You are so far ahead of me now. <laughs> so far ahead of me. I'm thinking... Just lay them out like that, and then the engines, which I can't make yet, but I could probably make after I have made an O2. Uh, I think you have to make uh, a tank yeah, to yeah. make the engines, maybe? Or is, no, no, you have to make a tank to make the thrusters. <laughs> uh, I just need more iron. I am just running low on iron. I have enough iron oh. to build my mining ship as I've laid it out. Like I've got enough resources already. I just need to actually get this thing built so that I can start doing something that you, catches up. Are you building a mining ship from scratch or are you just retrofitting the lander? Retrofitting the lander. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that too in here in a couple minutes. I think that's where I want them laid out. Uh, I just need to go grab a couple rounds of iron and then I, I can start I, I decided I wanted the stuff. miner to get the iron for the refinery because the refinery needs so much yeah that's the thankful part about me sitting on an iron deposit yeah it's easy 
My iron deposit's too far away. I was hoping there'd be one in this lake, but no such luck. Thanks, Looney Tune. You guys need to start producing iron, industrial refinery. Okay, give me these interior plates. Just we've got a hundred of them for now, please. And thanks, Nova Chaos. And let's start uh, laying out the world. Yes, admittedly, there is not much left of the lander since I've gotten the survival kit and everything off it already. Oh, I should probably move my survival kit to the base. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move the survival kit to where I'm going to eventually have it for the ship. That way I don't need to build any extra stuff. That is exactly what I've done. That's why my survival kit is dangling in space. <laughs> Tangling in the air. All right, so I want this to be do for now. this direction. And click, click, then connector. That'll be my dock for my cargo. And this will be the back of this thing. See, I'm I'm going to be attaching, using the back of the survival kit as the attachment point for my connector. Ah. What are you going to be using it for? Um, my survival kit is going to be the respawn point that goes to Mars. I mean, yeah, but... So I'm just going to attach to it only what is necessary to go to Mars. I mean, I'm using my survival kit as part of my miner, essentially. Ah, uh -huh. see, I didn't want to have to carry it with me. Are you putting out a medium cargo container or something there? I just slapped two medium cargo containers on the top, attached two drills straight to those, and then a connector on the side. <laughs> my thing is an abomination. It is a true abomination. I'm almost done to send you a picture of it. Hang on, let me let me let me take a quick screen grab. I'll send it to you on Discord. Awesome. Our show too. There you go. There's the abomination. Oh, uh, let's see. What the frick is that? <laughs> that is the abomination. Okay, that's that's. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's what happens when you just go. Well, this will fit here, so let's stick it there. Uh, don't I need more stuff than this? Oh, I'm trying to get that for the nothing. You go watch Blitzy's stream to see it. You don't need me to show it to you. <laughs> go watch his stream. It's chat trying to make you show up the picture I sent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to spend the time screwing around with OBS to do that. I ain't got that kind of time. <laughs> um, I just said, um, the side I showed you is the side that looks best. <laughs> it, uh, arguably, it actually is, too. Uh, the other side does look worse. Splitsy is streaming on Twitch. Go watch him. Yes. Oh, I time to recharge my power. Oh, I did it. I did the dumb thing with the location of these cargo tanks. It's blocking the lights from my suit lights. Nah. Which are my only lights. <laughs> okay, I might be too heavy now. And then I'll just throw a drill on top of that, throw up ah. drill, I'll put it there. And there. And there. See, I'm just gonna be using the fact that the drill itself essentially has the same cargo capacity as a medium cargo container. 
not worrying about adding cargo. Oh, really? Okay. I've just drilled too much because I can't lift off. Yeah, because then you'll end up having that happen to you. <laughs> no, that's just because I was I cheaped out on my lifting thrusters just for this first trip. Because I wanted to get some of this refining before I come back and do other trips. Come on, let's take off. No, am I still too heavy? Dang it. Yes, I'm going to add a stone ejector in a moment here. I know, Chad. I know how to play the game. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I'm working. <laughs> Drill one, drill two, and drill three. All right, now I need thrusters. I need lots of thrusters. I can use sci-fi ones because they look cool. Yeah, I ended up grabbing them just because they're the easiest one to spot because they're at the end of a row. Probably don't need the gravel I've got in my inventory. No. He knows, Chad. He's just doing it anyway. I'm... <laughs> I'm picking and choosing what I pay attention to and care about. And I keep forgetting to empty my inventory before I do things. Uh, you cannot add control to the hotbar of your passenger seat. You cannot add anything except for emotes to the hotbar of your passenger seat. Which is annoying. You should be able to add controls to passenger seats. <laughs> Engine seat's a bit excessive. Yes, I like the fact that they're excessive. I'm giving Splitsy a handicap by overbuilding over something. Uh, an engine is not overkill, I don't think. No, I've got, um... Big thrusters, instead of small thrusters. Oh, no, 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 I, I, I... Yeah, those as well. I don't think they're overkill. I want to add one or two to this miner. I'm totally on the same page as you on that one. 83 motors. God. Do I have enough nickel for this? Uh... Basic refinery. Yes! More than enough nickel. Excellent. I just need more iron, like always. Uh, chat just asks, who's winning the race? Kanajashi is winning right now. Am I? Definitely. We're both getting our industry up at the same times, though, pretty much. Yeah, but you've got a refinery, I don't. Oh, you I've don't have a refinery? Oh, okay. I've got a miner, but you don't yet, but probably will in a moment. Uh, whereas the refinery's going to take me longer. Uh, I don't know if one battery can do two large things. I can add more batteries. There's plenty of room. I can add more battery right here. Shave this off and put a battery here. See? Plenty of space. Alright. Yeah, there was always going to be a degree of um, luck and a degree of skill to how this ended up because we need to you need to get a bit lucky with what's around you where you land uh, and how far you have to go to search it search for it mm -hmm. I so got that, lucky in that compartment yeah I but think it, I got the better spawn you did I think so I think so except for the upside down thing which you recovered from quite quickly which is skill. yeah that was just me being bad my location was fine but I was bad but wasn't the upside down thing just you landed and it rolled? 
Uh, yeah, but that was just like the location of it. Yeah. You know but there's mean? nothing you can do about that. You don't have control over that bit. Yeah. Just keep building here. Keep building, keep getting iron, get this thing functional. It's not like very aerodynamic. Well, good thing I'm not using aerodynamic mod. Yep. Okay. If, if we were playing in multiplayer, I would fly over to Splitsy's base and like dump gravel on him. <laughs> Just to be But annoying. I can't do it. But because uh, it, this is uh, single player. Yeah. I'm actually even playing in offline mode because I was like, well, there's no point doing anything other than that. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, right. What can I do that's useful? All right, just need some power cells. Oh, yeah, I will use a warfare battery. Why not? It looks cool. Therefore, it's better. Can't fault your logic there. It's a build planner. I'm having some weird through terrain sunlight right now. Oh yeah, that happens near dawn and dusk. Paint it red because red goes faster. <laughs> I shouldn't need more than two batteries on this thing. This thing's going to be asymmetrical, which is weird for me, but I'm going to deal with it. <laughs> Thanks, Fire Strike. Oh, I only really need one forward thruster. Like, I'm just going to place stuff where they fit. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about, like, grinding off stuff and making it symmetrical. Yep. It's not much point doing more than that. I think the most important thing is that I have a good set of uh, backwards thrusters. Refinery. I can upgrade my mining ship and then hopefully start doing things that will actually get me towards the goal. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We didn't talk about this kind of judging, but um, any thoughts on what we do if one person wins by a lot? <sighs> do we just leave the other person on their lonesome to try and finish? Just be like, all right, I'm going to go walk my dog. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how somebody in my chat is just like, Kanajashi is asymmetrical. What have you done with him? Who are you? I've corrupted him. Hey, this is all for the uh, sake of going fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, okay. Control. I just got a suggestion from my chat that the other person sh should go into join the game and just mock them in creative mode. Doesn't feel like in the spirit of what we're doing here. Feels funny, but not in the spirit of what we're doing here. I'm moving these things. They're in a terrible location. Shit. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm going fast backwards? No, it's so you can aim down and still mine. That's why you need a whole bunch more forward thrust on a miner. Mm-hmm. Come on, chat. You should know this by now. You're space engineers. Oh, a bunch of construction components and stuff.
I'm gonna recharge my suit. Inventory full. This is better. It's a much better position for these. Not for those thrusters, but for cargo. <laughs> Strong line. Right. that done and then I can take off. <laughs> hmm? Is this the prequel to the escape from Mars scenario and the first ship there is the one buried on the surface? That'd be kind of fun. I'm hoping we're not we don't well I mean there's always the possibility that the first person there is going to crash into the surface. It's unlikely, but it is a possibility. I, I know I need sorters and ejectors. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm still trying to build my, my thrusters. It's been a while since you've done a thing where you're going to get constant feedback from chat, isn't it? Oh yeah, normally I'm just building my own little world and I just don't give a shit when anyone thinks. Uh, that's funny. And now I've got people like telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Not coping! Not coping! It's like, I know! <laughs> I've played this game before. <laughs> Thanks, silly string parfait. Uh, who is ahead? Technically, I am, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You are. I mean, you have gold, way more hours the, in, in the Space Engineers bit. than I do. Yeah, I do. But, uh, how many hours have you got now? Uh, just shy of 2k. Okay, yeah, so I've got like double your hours. Yep. More than double, actually. Hey, I was watching you before I, like, started making videos. Oh, wow. Those oh. are the sorts of comments I make to Wasted and Shaq. I need to go fly and get my nickel. Alright. Whee! Let's go to nickel! I need to move some thrusters to be lifting thrusters. I didn't arrange this properly. Splitzy, you're an idiot. What have you done? I've made so many mistakes. At least I know that's lots of room for improvement. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jackson, it feels weird to be on the other side of that comment. Feels real weird. Uh, what comment? Uh, the... I was watching you before I even started making content. Comment. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Feels weird. I'm not used to being the, uh... Like, in that sort of position. Load a nickel. Let's go. We are the reason I started. <laughs> I wouldn't have a YouTube career without not. Getting all sappy and sentimental here. Yeah. That doesn't sound like either of us. Well, maybe me. Making a face. Right out reaching my chat just said, feel the age, old man. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, now I'm making uh, motors again. Hell yeah. Another minute here. I think I could probably take off with just two of these uh, engines together. 
probably. After you started your speedruns, I thought I would try. It was 7 hours 30 minutes in and jumping to last two planets when I jumped on top of a raider, destroyed my hydrogen tank, and that was that. Ouch. That could happen to either of us when we jump to Mars. Alright, so power tests. Good, I can randomly thrust in multiple directions and I stay under peak load. Well, Ken and Jesse's doing power tests. I just took off and hoped for the best. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the dock built. Uh, Yuki, well, don't use that term. That term is it. I'm just gonna call me influencer. I'm not an influencer. I make content. I don't just shill products. I make stuff. Although, arguably, in the uh, in the coming year, I might be making a bit less than I have previously, thanks to Moosey making some of it for me. Yes, I much prefer content creator than influencer. Influencer as a term just feels skeevy. It feels like I'm going to a place and be like, oh, I'd love to have a free thing if you could like, I'll call you out to my six followers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, my ship flies. Oh, what do I got? Ship's barely, I got 50 minutes of flight time. What I've got in it. I know I need ejectors. I'm going to make that in a second here. Uh, I just need to use this to start tunneling down to the cobalt and gold. I'm just going to right-click my way down. <laughs> Thanks, Velon. It's, uh... The fact that you guys are so there generous as a community is one there of the reasons why I don't have to, to take gold. sponsorships from horrible companies like... <laughs> go, go, right-clicking. And now people are talking about that horrible mobile game that sponsors lots of people. In my chat. Hey, thanks, Corbin Dallas. <laughs> my ship is apparently a flying occupational health and safety violation. Not probably. Yeah. I kind of want to send you another picture of it, but <laughs> it takes a little bit of time to do. Actually, chat, I, I would be open to sponsorship, but it would have to be the right sponsor and for the right content. Uh, as neither of those two have lined up as yet, I have not accepted any of the offers that I've had to this stage. And meters to the gold. Hey, there's gold. Okay, stop. Stop right clicking. Oh yeah, I'm in big trouble. Back up. Kind of is mining gold to start refining it already. I'm in big trouble. Also, I'm about to hit the ground really hard. Oh, I'm not mining gold again. yet. That's fine. I had enough buffer. <laughs> I smashed my landing gear, but that's all. Yeah, I'm not mining it yet. I just dug a tunnel down to it to mine it later. Oh, okay. I'm just widening my tunnel a little bit right now. Are you I'm waiting for my dock mining? to get uh, built. Have you got your ship up and running? Yeah, I'm flying my ship right now. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, that's a horrific thought. Uh, is there an Australian bikini company? No. 
I mean, yes, there are many, but ew. No. What? No one wants to see that. Uh, my chat's all talking about sponsorship deals and, you know, those horrible companies like Raycon that sponsor everybody but actually have really terrible products. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and no, I would not ever take a sponsorship from one of them. And no, I would never wear a mankini. What? My my hole to the gold is built. And now and I'm I'll getting told to stop looking at chat and build faster. <laughs> Probably should. I know, but it's just not in my nature. All right, I need to add another gyro to this thing because it definitely needs it. All right, you should have had enough time to build everything I need for these. Then I can go dock this thing and charge it. All right, refinery built. Oof. Hey, What's that, like work. 20 minutes behind you? Uh, 30. Oh. Just stick that knife in deeper. <laughs> yeah, once I start doing some mining here, I'm going to start working on um, getting the hydrogen systems running and then start laying out my ship. We'll get that on switch lock. And let's go dock. Oh, I do not want that on two. I want that on nine. I'm used to that being on nine. Okay, how are we doing for my batteries? They are recharging. Excellent, they are recharging fast. Fully recharged in 19 minutes. I'm just going to change Warfare Battery to just be a battery. That way they're together in the list. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh, ejectors, and then this thing is ready to rock. No, Dan, we do not need a deep fake splitsy mankini. <laughs> do not attach my head to Borat. Why not? <laughs> it looks so wonderful. <laughs> Come on, chat. You can make it happen. Splitsy will enjoy it later. He'll appreciate its wonderfulness at a later point. <laughs> <in life. laughs> God, that'd be so horrific. <laughs> oh, okay. I need some conveyors. <laughs> Maybe those. Then some checked doors and a starter. There we go. <laughs> kind of Josh is doing a speed run, also kind of Josh. Let's oh, rename right. the component. Spend the time to rename the components. Yes. We'll always spend time to remake all the. rename everything. I got to do my split as I expected I would forget to. The chat remind you? They did, as I hoped they would. Good work, chat. So now it says... Um, I can always count on you for this kind of stuff. So what time did you get your refinery? Uh, 125.50. My time says two hours. <laughs> I have done terribly today. So badly. Oh, it's, don't worry, you're fine. <laughs> uh, where do I want you to just say that because you're winning. Yes, I did. <laughs> and I am not ashamed of that. Eh, not should you be. Sorter going down, and then conveyor. Oh, I want to put it here. Now I'm second guessing my own freaking design decisions during a speed run. Yeah, but I don't like this over here. It just doesn't clash with the rest of the ship. <laughs> So it doesn't work together. I know. I should probably just put it off the connector in the back. It fits so much better back there. I got. I gotta perfect my Valley Girl accent. Is that really a high priority? Ah, uh, one of these days, it's a high oh, priority. 
Jeez. Ah. Dang it. But, oh, but this is all good. No, I did something really dumb again. I forgot that I turned my dampeners off to make my ship park and I just destroyed a small Wait thruster. List. Actually, maybe two. Watch. Destroy my survival kit too. No, survival kit's fine. That's no. fine. That's Train fine. On. There we go. And then from here, we're going to put a, a line of conveyors and we're going to have ejectors all along here. Like that. And we'll just be spitting stone off the side of our ship like crazy. <laughs> People in chat saying boom goes splitsy. Yeah, boom goes splitsy. You explode. I exploded. That's, not well, that's good. no good. No. Thank you so much, Dragnon. Oh, you crazy, crazy man. You're a big part of the reason I don't have to oh, take our responsibility. Oh, I'm going to have too many ejectors uh, for the sorter. Okay, I'll put another sorter I very much appreciate like, it. Do it down. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I do not need that much in the seat. Sure, there's in there and do some uh, internally stuff. Nah, it's not really way through there. I can just do this real quick and have a another conveyor sorter right here, like that. Ha! <laughs> I can do it two ways. I'm such a smart cookie. Yeah, chat. I am unbelievable. Well, we'll start flying with this. It looks fine. I probably want maybe one more thruster backwards. And that'll be it. And then I'll be good to rock. And then I'll go get some uh, resource. Thanks to a zombie. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, Nab. Great. Uh, even more, even more people I know to watch me get my butt kicked. Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah, one more gyroscope. Yeah, then we'll then we'll go. One more gyro. All right, give me the stuffs. So I shouldn't drain all on the sword eh? No. I should just let it drain. Fuel critical. And then just let the ejectors do their thing. Row out, collect all. Excellent. That that'll function. Uh, we'll grab the stuff for one more gyro. And then we'll get out of here. And start mining gold and stuff. Alright, I think I'm I think I'm going okay-ish again for a little bit. I'm not too far behind you getting that mining ship up and running in because I've already got the major stuff. I should be able to catch up a bit maybe if I can right. do this mining well. Just have to hope that my ship is designed in a way that makes it quicker and more effective than yours which is dubious given the state of my ship. Go and first get a load of iron because I'll need it. Thanks so much, Matcha. Thanks for the 10 gift subs. <laughs> Thank you. Get a load of iron, get a load of nickel, get a load of cobalt, and then I'll start working on gold. Come on, build my stuff. What have you run out of? We got a nickel? Is that what we're out of? Yeah, we're out of nickel. Yeah, I'm thinking three hours is doable. Three hours is definitely doable. Um, 
I don't think three hours is necessarily going to be doable for me today, but three, hour, three hours as a general goal I think is 100% doable. Um, I think if I would have run this again, I would, re I would have restarted had I gotten into some of the situations that I've gotten into. Mhm. Mm uh, because they they'd be bad. But and I mean, if you were doing a speed run, you would reset every so often. You would just be like, "Oh yeah, that's a bad way of doing things." Oh yeah, that's a bad. I way died of doing here, things. so therefore this run is dead because I can't recover from that speed loss. Yeah. Which doesn't sound like a fun way to play to me. I'll be honest. I think I think there can be some fun to it, but I don't think right now it's the way that I would find the most right, fun. Come on. We've got a heavy, heavy ship here, so let's widen this pathway a little bit more as we go up and go and deposit that like thirty thousand iron. Switched off on my base. It has. What the? There we go. Oh no, I've got I got fog, so I've got no power. I forgot that fog affects wind in a negative way. It does? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it does. I've got low wind. If I look at my turbines, they're barely producing anything at the moment. They're producing 182 Sucks. kilowatts each. Sucks for you. Ah, oh, I didn't need this. Right, I'm going to make a group of my back words thrusters thanks tinners thanks to Kishis for the bits so i can turn them off and so i can skate out to the uh nickel oh man well since that's a problem anyway you're gonna have a chip mm. Yummy chips. Thanks again, hey you. Thanks again, Disco Dex. Thanks for the five gift subs. Oh, and industrial overhaul aluminum is bauxite. That is the raw material. And thanks for aluminum. the gift sub, Gleep Torrent. Someone's, oh, no. someone's just posted to Imgur a, a Imgur link about apparently me and his mankini. <laughs> it wow. has been done! Wow. Glorious! Oh dear god. I'm not going to open that on my stream. Nope. 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 <laughs> Peace Magia, thank you again for five more gift subs. Oh, splits keeny. Jeez. Also, to my sorter, I'm going to add a little bit of ice. Probably gonna drill some ice here. Damn, level five hype train. That's actually. Have I had that before? I don't know if I've had that before. Uh, how much of my batteries at? Is one of them out? Nickel! Ew. <laughs> Nabarine says that picture is pretty awful, so I'm I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust Nab's uh, opinion on such things. Yeah. I and mean, somebody said they posted it in my Discord, so I'll see it later. <laughs> yeah, I'm 
I'm sure it'll get posted in the spoiler chat bit of my Discord as well. Also, DE will get banned from the server if he ever posts that image on an LCD. Or if anyone posts it on the wrong way <laughs> on an LCD. Um, um, um. No, no, we're not having that. I'll put up with his horrible something and something stuff, but not that. <laughs> I noticed you didn't say, Nab, that you're sure DE would do that. You said it's highly unlikely. It still leaves room for it to be possible. How much have I got? We're coasting back with a load of nickel. Mm, I don't love flying back with like 40,000. Well, 30,000 nickel? Yeah. Mm. Nice. Pumping on chips all the way. So tasty. I have six minutes of power left. Thanks, right in the air. I should probably not get too close to the ground there. I was about three feet off the ground. <laughs> yeah, getting close to the ground and hitting things is something that I've been doing, and it doesn't help. All right, ship needs to charge, so I'm going to be building for a while. Uh, now chat wants me to name one of the robots, uh, Rovers, that splits me. <laughs> he totally does the funny wrong way up. Because it nettles you, he'd not post near obscenity. Fair enough. Oh, jeez. What have I... What has happened today? Okay. So that should... Nickel gets automatically pulled out. My... I should have a button to turn off that to... I don't need this whole thing here. Uh, I mean, Kanajashi's probably interested in this, so it is very unlikely that the Warfare update is going to significantly change Wrong Way Up, because if any of the blocks were to break our current um, quite fun arms race that we've got going on, uh, we'd just ban them anyway. Because yep. we, we have a balance that we really like, so if the guns are going to add something to that and make it more fun, Sure, we're going to use them. If it's going to make it less fun, we're not going to use them. There's no point. Um, and so we're not going to be using the rail guns because they would immediately potentially end the series for us. Because <laughs> they're rail guns. Like, yeah. It's, rid it's ridiculous. Yeah, so, like, because we're all working on, you know, sensible plans around, we want to make fun content. Uh, we don't do silly things like that. No. The entire goal is to have fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Sassink, for the five gift subs. So why do, like, stuff that will make your enemy explode? That's no fun. You want to toy with your food. <laughs> That's a really good way to put it as the bad guy. <laughs> that is a really good way to put it. I like it. Yeah, play with your food. Don't just kill it. God. Mm -hmm. Don't you know what you're doing here? Alright. First H2O2 up. Uh, I can now make engines. Uh, oh, wow. Six more conveyors on five. Because that's how I like it. There we go. Let's get an engine rocking and start getting some ice power. Although I start, ah, I need to. S All right, I need a cargo container or a drill rig. Probably a large cargo container because I'm gonna need like hundreds of thousands of uh, ice. Let's get it going. Production, large blocks, cargo, make it. Plunk. 
and then I'll build a little welder on here. So this will automatically build my cargo container for me. Because screw having to build a cargo container like that. Why not make a better welding tool when I can just have the grid weld it for me? Oh, Nabarine just posted in chat uh, about not wanting shields added to space engineers. Which is like mm -hmm. braces for the ch braces for the hate. I'm like, nah. Most of my chat, I think, agree with not having shields as vanilla. Having shields as an optional mod, hundred percent, could be fun for like staged battles and stuff like that. But in vanilla, the thing that's awesome in Space Engineers is that you can see stuff break. Yeah, that's you can what see makes it amazing. Break off. You don't want shields because they get rid of that. What you want is better balanced combat so you don't feel like you need shields to survive more than a few right. seconds in combat. Large cargo container is being built. Then off of the large cargo container, we are going to make a piston drill to drill a bunch of ice. <laughs> Yay! So, I'm so much status report, I'm Kenajashi, what sort of stuff are you up to right now? I have my refinery assembler functioning i have my miner functioning i found my gold my silver my cobalt so i've got all my resources yeah and i'm currently starting h2o2 production okay for power and then i'm going to lay out my um my final ship here in about five minutes mm -hmm. all right so i've got my refinery my assembler don't have any upgrade modules on them yet i'm just increasing my power output at the moment um, so that I can operate the refinery with some upgrade modules. And then mm -hmm. uh, I'm also going to be hooking up my ship to get some power soon. Because I need that. And I'll be on the same sort of step as you, trying to get more power supply so that I can... Like the hydrogen powered stuff as well. Yeah, Valon, we want, we want Battlestar Galactica or The Expanse, not Star Trek Wrath of the Shields. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I completely agree. I think Expanse is the best choice. Yeah. I like BSG is kind of a fun one too because it's all ablative armor and it's all like the gunfire every which way and um, that style of things. But yeah, it's basically near future. That's what Space Engineers is always meant to be. I think a big part of the reason we've actually had that consistent vision is that's what Marek wants. I feel like he said that in some interviews in the past that that he what he wanted was near future Lego. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Babylon Five maybe. But yeah, you want you want near future. Twenty seventy seven. The things that aren't near future in Space Engineers were only done for gameplay reasons, jump drives, crap gens. Because if we didn't have those, right. there'd be some frustrations in the gameplay that'd be quite significant. One, two, three, four pistons. One, two, three, four piston top parts. Conveyors. One, two. Drills. One, two, three. Okay. My assembler is making my stuff. Give me the stuff. Give me the stuff. Uh, Give me the I stuff. I wanted to get it laid out. I could have extended the upward piston, but it's not built yet. Jeez, I'm working on it. Okay, Try to like get, two make power. three things at once here. on this uh, assembler to make my life better. The only super science in Space Engineers is Clang. <laughs> oh, the Clang that we we got when our uh, rover basically exploded two weeks ago. That was ridiculous. How have you been? That was me. Up until um, 
up until obviously the latest latest patch. How have you been going with uh, clang related problems in your uh, survival series with the water mod and everything? Oh, none. I mean, I give regular sacrifices to clang every couple of weeks. Yeah, I haven't been playing enough with few... Capac to have, make my usual sacrifices. Yeah. And he leaves me alone typically if I make the sacrifices. He tried to take my dock once, but uh, I thankfully appeased him with a few prayers right then. See, you... I tried to build a dock in when I was testing to see where the wrong way up would have the water mod. My dock started anti-grav floating. <laughs> like, not floating in water, floating in the sky. And that's when I decided that I wouldn't include it in uh, Wrong Way Up. <laughs> so I was, I was curious whether you'd had any, tr any troubles as well. Nope. Okay. Alright, let's get some hydrogen done. Oh, well, haven't had that much of an issue. I need, to, I need to move this power cell to the front. That's good. Make me that power cell. There we go. Glad you're enjoying it, Paladrian. And thanks, Uncle Festa. Excellent. So that is eating ice, which is an un... Eh, well, it has to have stuff. Uh, chat, well, don't worry. I don't need to lay out the final ship. I've, I've got a pretty I'll clear idea in my head from what I've placed on hey. the map so far. Large card container. Excellent. <laughs> oh no. We're back onto the influencer chat because I apparently influenced someone to buy a magic bullet to make smoothies. Because the smoothie is my usual stream snack. Oh. Well, because it's a, it doesn't have any mouth sounds because you're not chewing it. It is somewhat filling, especially if you make them with oats and other stuff sort of in them. Um, and there's no, there's no like package noise from chip packets or stuff like that. So it kind of works. It is slightly amusing that as a gaming content <laughs> creator, I'm promoting the making of that style of food product. Ooh, if I had a face cam, I could probably try and get like Kenwood to sponsor me. I really do want to get one of um, <laughs> one of those stand mixers so I can do more baking. Like a really big mixer machine? Yeah, the proper ones. That are like the the good ones can go up for like twelve hundred Aussie dollars. To be like eight hundred. I have no idea what value your dollars have. I think eight hundred to nine hundred Canadian. How far are you off the US dollar at the moment? I have no idea. Yeah. I don't pay attention to such things. It'd be like twelve hundred Aussies is about eight hundred US Japan, at the moment. So I know what the the yen is to Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no idea what uh, other currencies are. Alright, what do I need? Small steel tubes. Right there. Why do you know the yen? Oh, because you buy, I buy stuff from so Japan. much anime stuff. Right, yeah. Gotcha. I am a complete weeaboo. Makes sense. Like, I'd have to say, like, a good, like, 60-70% of my disposable income goes towards anime stuff. Right. <laughs> uh, 
I am a wee And I'm not ashamed of it. Engine should be running now. Yep. Hydrogen engine up and running. That should charge these batteries a lot quicker. Yeah, I got my engine up. I just need to get this drill rig so I actually have enough freaking ice for it. Yes, Weebajashi. I am Weebajashi. <laughs> Switch lock. Get rid of the landing gear now. I'll snap it off at some point anyway. Actually, I might leave it on there. All right, I can't pull from my large cargo. I can pull from right here. What am I doing? Chat, sometimes you're you're smart. Sometimes you're annoying, but sometimes you're smart. Uh, they're usually smart. It's just you got to pick which one's the smart one and which one's trying to troll you. All right, I'm going to cut the rest of that. Let's hit that on the build planner. One Aussie dollar is about yeah. 90 Canadian. Okay. Yeah, it's been a long while there since I've had to do that, can, that conversation in my head. I did date a Canadian girl for a while, many years ago. How much of a weave am I? If I showed you a picture on my bedroom, you would say I'm the biggest weave ever. Oh, the things you're admitting uh, on the internet. <laughs> I don't care. Check out my Discord. It's all in there. Oh, no, now I have to figure out which ones are the extendos. Uh, no. Uh, this is base vertical. I can't use build vision. <laughs> Arm vertical. It changes things a lot, doesn't it? Arm horizontal. Okay, ice drill piston drill rig thingy is. Uh, Mike, I'll be bringing back some solo streams soon. They, they'll be the kind of vibe of the seven days to die streams, but Go probably not drill. seven days you'll to die to start off with. But you'll have some solo streams soon. They could even be drills. Lego streams, so it'll be all like. Seeing me, but and stuff I should be getting tons chat. of ice now. Yes. Okay, that ice is going into power, which is going into my my miner, which is going into wonder and joy in my life. Ugh. Weird thing to say, but I really want to see Connor Josh's room. I'll post a picture of it in my Discord after the stream. How are my batteries doing here now that they're getting uh, hydrogen engine power? Oh, yeah, recharge just a few Yes, minutes. chat, I said Lego stream. I'm going to build some Lego because, after all, the reason I like Space Engineers is because it is Space Lego. Space Lego! When, when Marek was saying during the stream yesterday how he was kind of looking at making blocks, the, like real-world blo Space Engineers blocks, I kind of want to make a couple of my ships with real-world Space Engineers blocks that have magnets in them so they stick together. Sounds cool. Yeah, I reckon it'd be a really cool thing to have. Like, um, some of my early game ships that don't require that many blocks I think would be really cool. Two and a half hours already, and I haven't even started building my jump drive. There is no way this is getting. Oh, I accidentally uh, fat fingered my uh, my button for jump oh. drive. Damn it! What happened? Uh, how do I re go back a, a split? Oh, can you, can you go back a split? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I got well, no idea. Whatever. Other than the several times that I tested to make sure that my keyboard shortcuts worked and then they didn't actually work when I went to use them. Um, oh, let me just, hold, uh, let me just see. Uh, oh, undo split. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, hey I did it. <laughs> I fixed it. I'm a smart cookie. Oh, yeah, the cockroach. I want to, I want to 3D print, print the cockroach, actually. I think that'd be the thing I want to do. Mm -hmm. Subbed or dubbed? Subbed. Unless it's That's... like a very specific dub. Stone. S some dubs work for anime. I think I've like, I don't I don't watch 
much foreign language stuff, but I I feel like I prefer it. I prefer watching stuff that's subbed because mm -hmm. I feel like you get a better grasp of what the original creators intended for it with the actors yeah. speaking in their it's native language rather than subbed over the top, uh, dubbed over the top. People asking who my waifu is now. Oh man, this conversation got weird. Yeah, let's not go there today. <laughs> you can you can have a Kanajashi after dark and talk about that stuff. Just ask me my Discord, I'll answer later. <laughs> but anyway, you'll, you'll see who my waifu is when I post my picture in my room. Uh, 3D printed croissant. <laughs> can you 3D print pastry? Uh, maybe. I don't. I don't the think second... it was a debate about whether subbed or dubbed is better. I think it's about a, com a question of preference. I, yeah. I prefer subtitles. Other things, because I, I feel like I get a better grasp of what it was intended to be. Oh, my engines are being nice to me today and turning on without having to reset the power on the grid. That's quite nice engines. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, build these. 3D printed sandwiches confused cat back. <laughs> Love it. Oh, the battery's doing. Oh yeah, nice. It's so nice when you have a bunch of materials. Oh wait, this is still full of ice, what am I doing? <laughs> what I think is really cool was what, uh, I think, it, I can't remember what it was for, but some subbing group took a anime that came out in both uh, English and Japanese, but mm. the, there was both English and Japanese characters, uh -huh. and they spliced it all together so they are all speaking their own proper language. Huh. The characters that were English were speaking English. The characters that were Japanese were speaking Japanese. That's a bit weird. And some some like anime group made that and put it out as like the fan version of the movie, and I was just like, damn, that's freaking awesome like i think it's i think it's an interesting it's an interesting topic related to sci-fi as well it's like language differences between alien species um and how that's represented like especially when you think about series like stargate where the whole you know you have a linguist in the group so it was supposed to be a major part of it but then how do you deal yeah. with that in a way that's Good. Because I guess like you could Star have uh, like alien races just, being just like we have the universal communicator. Yeah, or or just subtitle them. There was a movie that did the whole learning on a, a different language thing really well. I'm trying to think what it is. Basically, you watch a guy slowly start to understand the people talking around him. He starts picking up individual words and then starts picking up a bit more than that. Um, and just takes... You, so basically you're getting that feel for him slowly learning the language of the people that he's stuck with at that time. Mm -hmm. 13th Warrior, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, 13th Warrior. Oh, it was done really, really well. I remember that. Yeah. Like, I think that's an example like of a really good movie. sequence. Um, doing that sort of thing. People are saying 13th Warrior in my chat too. Yep. <laughs> it's like, I figured if I described it, people would know it immediately because right. it is, it's kind of one of the things that film is known for and known for doing well. Just 
Let's start doing some components here. Apparently a movie called Enemy Mine did it too. I oh yeah, I get some speed modules on your assembler and it just starts flying. Woo! All right, time to grab some gold. Hey, nice. I am going to go and lay out my final ship. Didn't I grab my interior plate? I did. Why can't I place these? I feel like Capac would have seen Enemy Mine. What? I feel like he's told me but, about it at some point. Oh, the, th the port's here. Okay, that's why I can't place it. Um, what were you trying to place? Oh, it was, it was just being weird. That's all. I was confused. Up, up, and then... I really need to finish building that thruster. I don't need to go that tall. And then turn this way, and this is where we're going to build. So it's going to be conveyor, small hydro tank, and then off of that, I'm trying to remember what I built in my testing world. As like, ah, that'll work, sort of thing. Uh, down, down. Then I have full conveyor. Do I have hydro thrusters yet? No, that'll come after I get my tank built. And then I had bats this entire thing. I had lots of batteries. One, two, three, four bats. So I could recharge my thing. I'm gonna build my stuff. Calm down, people. God, I'm gonna set a welder to do this. I ain't gonna build this stuff. Oh, God. No, you just, <laughs> just whack down a welder, let it build the, especially for the jump drive. That's what I wanna do. Yeah, I, I suppose. Right there. Um, well, I have to build all these Asian The way that. Uh, Firefly did things with the Mandarin in English it was also a good way of approaching it. Using curses in both languages so you get the feeling that people know both. And having short exchanges in both that can be easily inferred without putting a subtitle on. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a good approach. Please. Oh, I don't want to do this. I really want to build all these O2H2s right away. I should have built this differently. Oh well. Let's just build these uh, h 2 l 2s get them going. Because I'm going to need them anyway to recharge my uh, thing. It'll go fast. <laughs> uh. Oh, my day's done here. Second sunset of the stream. <laughs> Two hours and 40 Goodbye, minutes in. Man. I wonder if we're going to even beat four hours today. You might. I'm not sure I will. Yeah, I'm going to be somewhere in the three hour mark, I think. Three something. <laughs> Band of Brothers also used lots of native languages. The Dutch sounded horrible, and the actors were Dutch. Said by a person in my name in my chat who is called Dutch. So, so I, it's actually if you've got a really bad actor, I think they can get away with it if they speak a different language, because <laughs> it's a lot easier to tell um, when someone's acting is poor when they're speaking your own language. Time to add a couple of drills to my drill rig. Get one, two, three, connector. Wait, do I need to do this? I got plenty of ice. Oh, and random fact. I think I calculated it out, and you need uh, 50,000 ice to fill one small hydro tank. Yeah, sounds about right. Ah! 
Why do I keep accidentally hitting time? Oh, it's because it's on my numpad and I'm typing numbers in. That's what is happening. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. Because I've got, um, I've got, I've actually got the timer thing on my stream PC, not on my main PC. Oh yeah, I've, I've, I might have screwed things up. I wonder if my time stopped for like a minute. It might have. Oh well, I, I'm disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, I mean, we can just go by what your timer is on my timer. Uh, true. Let me just turn off uh, global control, which yeah, allows me to idea. just not screw this up again. Fun fact, use speedrunners, use foot pedals to do their splits. That sounds like that would be a very uh, smart thing to do. I was also told um, that apparently a lot of uh, like IRL streamers use foot pedals to change scenes in OBS. So when That's I was talking about changing thing. scenes for my Lego build streams, um, they are like, you should make a foot pedal, a custom foot pedal. I'm like, yeah. Uh, maybe? So somebody says I'm two, two and a half minutes. What? Oh, that's not too bad. Two and a half minutes. Yeah, well. We'll just add that to my time at the end. Your chat is saying that you're only a few seconds different from me, though. But oh, there, there is a um, bigger delay on YouTube than Twitch. Oh, it's we're normally we're around a down. minute more, so it's not huge, but it might account for the similarity on their end. Ah, why are you not running? Go. <laughs> Did I hear Lego? I love Lego. I love Lego too. Horizontals. What the? Uh, why did? Why is chat? Why is my auto chat hiding pedal? Is in the word? Actually, I don't want to know. Don't tell me. <laughs> I, there might be a reason, and if there's a reason, I actually don't want to know. Uh, Jex, you got plenty of time to finish your robots. Um, one of the things I want to do with LEGO is there's a tabletop game called Mobile Frame Zero, uh, which is a game intended to be played with custom-built LEGO miniatures. Um, so I'm going to try and play that with Jax once we both have a set of teams going. You're all good, man. You don't have to worry, you don't. Rush. Foot lever. <laughs> sure. You know something? Oh. Oh, the... Oh my... What the... What? A hydrogen engine that started running immediately on being built? What is this magic? Yeah, they're doing that in my world too. <gasps> I don't know what's wrong. I turned on and off my base because I just assumed it wouldn't work. For the first one it's I built. It's working for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> it's magical. <laughs> I can't believe that's what we're both just... <gasps> oh my god. Bye. <laughs> it's just... Shift it's been off. so long! Yeah, this is the most expensive conveyor line I've ever built. It's the entire conveyor line of H2O2 gens. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much what mine's going to be. It's all right. It's it's done. Back out of the way. I need to get better at using build planner. Yes, I'm doing some silly stuff, but I'm not going to learn now. <laughs> this is not the time. No. I'm just going to do what I know how to do and do it as fast as I can. So, so one of the things that Canada actually and I agreed to before we started these this stream was, um, whoever wins isn't allowed to go again until their time is beaten. So when Canada wins today, you'll have what? to try and no, use that win. time to just you're learn all, build planner rather than doing another win. run. <laughs> uh, I might run out of iron. That might be a thing. Yep, I'm out of iron. Well, I did get a lot of mining done with. Or I ran out of stuff. And hopefully my little ship here has been plugged in for a while is recharged. Uh, 
Okay. How are my bats doing? Yeah, showing. my bats are full. Yeah. Off to the iron. Okay, it was a typo that made the pedal be a thing. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. Little tight quarters here. Bashing the walls on my way out with my miner. Oof. Gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah, to a point. They can take a little bit of a beating. Yeah, Groz, I don't know why those words were hidden either, but, you know, Twitch is weird. Sometimes you don't want to know. <laughs> this is also true. This is also very, very true. <laughs> oh. Okay, now I can extend the arm piston down. Arm vertical. Let's extend you down a block. And then oh retract. yeah. How how much are you looking forward to playing with the new spotlights, Kenna? Uh, like the searchlights, like in, in a night world where, like, in a world where you're actually playing at night and highlighting the enemies that you're shooting at and things like that. Yeah, it might be kind of fun. What's well, that okay. was exact? That was like the first thing I thought of as soon as I saw that they've added them. Um, which is why the first thing I did was release a mod to increase their range to make them useful for that. Um, I can just imagine them being like um, air raid sort of things. Yeah. Like I think with any any game you play with NPCs, why can't I get my third person? You need it. Um, I think it'll be amazing having that to spot them as they come in. Just the. The cinematic quality of it, I think, will be epic. Stupid thing was all caught up building, you know, working on nickel. I should probably add another uh, uh, basic. Uh, the default on range on the searchlight is not 300 meters; it's 160. I modded them out to 800 meters for the small and of one kilometer for the large. There. Uh, I do not have any plans for a rotor turret on a plane. Uh, what I have I plans for, thanks to Grozob, who's also one of my mods, uh, he has given me the instructions I need to turn off the ability for the turret controller to turn on AI. Which we would all of us just not have turned on anyway. Uh, since we're not using turret AI in Wrong Way Up. It's a more exciting setup. Although it's going to be nice having a target lead indicator that works. Yes, that's going to be great. Well, you have to wait for the lock on, and it takes forever. <laughs> I'm like flying in towards something, and I'm trying to get target lock in my upgraded warthog. And I'm just like, can I uh, get lock, please? And I've already flown over it before I even get the lock. Is that is that the same case targeting something the size of the jalopy? Uh, I was targeting, you know, my master on from season three. Yep. Hey, that's a pretty I was targeting big. that. And I was two kilometers up in the air, and it was like range does a seem while. to have an impact on the speed of lock, like the, how far away you are from the object. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Yeah, actually, that's true. The target lead indicator has been working for me all the time. It just merges the signals to my GPSs, so I thought it was just GPSs moving across my screen, not the target lead indicator. Which was really annoying when I read the comments and on the video afterwards and like, oh, you idiot, Splitsy. You idiot. All right. Uh, also, awesome. yeah. My is the lock my, even useful my ship in is wrong being way? Built. Kind of, is the lock even useful if we're not using the AI? Oh yeah, because it gives us the lead indicator. Yeah, so you can actually yeah. like hit targets. Yeah, yeah. So we can manually hit targets. Yeah. I'm gonna turn this off for a second. I'm going to get this conveyor tube built. Uh, wrong way up. We'll wrap up when we reach the pole of this planet. Uh, have some plans for what's coming after it, though, already. Because of course it is. Um, oh, Kenna, have you got any... Have you had any thoughts in the 24 hours since you found that your water world was breaking and what you're going to do in the meantime? Um... I mean, I'm doing this, which is something. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Depends how often we run this, I guess. I mean, we... I don't know. I'm going to probably figure out why that's wrecking. Yeah. Probably on Sunday. Or Saturday. Probably do it Sunday morning before the, the, the our stream for a wrong way up. Yep. Yes, my chat. Survival impossible we will continue. Uh, I've now got more control over my time because doing this is my main job now. So I get to choose when I do things. Ooh. Yay! Yeah, hey. Good for you. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, it's I'm still... Uh, pretty bizarre. I'm still a pencil pusher at work. But I like it. Yeah, you like your work, which is nice. Like, I, oh, yeah. I'm envious I of really you like having my work. a regular job that you like because I very much burned out on mine and thankfully found this in the process of burning out uh, I don't know if it's water mod in particular or anything like that it's just my my save broke like my season 4 it just won't load it just keeps crashing so that is why it might take a break for like a week until I can figure it out. Well, hopefully I can beat whatever time possible. you set quickly so you can have another crack. <laughs> There's a hope. I was thinking one option I might All do right. if I... Because I really struggle to do this stuff quickly. And I, I'd be interested to hear your opinion on this and your chat and my chat's opinion. If I'm struggling to... Like, I'm assuming, because Kanajashi is quite a long way ahead, that I won't catch up that much, but I might do. I'm trying my hardest. I'm not giving up. I'm just being a realist. Um, but in my attempts to beat your time, I was half tempted to record it and then play it back live on stream while I'm... So I'm chatting, but I'm not actually playing. Mm-hmm. Because I was thinking well, that, that would way, be a way to make it... could also go, like, full brain functioning on yeah. the problems and stuff. Yeah. You don't have to worry about being an entertainer at the same time. My god, this gold's really far down. There um, and so if that if that ends up being something that people like watching, uh Kanajashi and I briefly talked about possibly if someone in the community ends up submitting like a full video that they're happy for us to show on our channels and monetize and whatnot um we would uh do a post analysis on theirs watching it back at like two times speed the two of us commenting on it to see why why they're so much faster than us mm -hmm. what, what order did they do stuff in yeah because i think that could be an interesting way of looking at it as well and if i'm not mistaken uh just sort of going into like speed run theory here hmm. when you run or spawns are 
relevant to your seed? Or are they fixed? They're fixed. They are 100% static. So you could theoretically go... Because the thing is, or the seed is just for, like, trees and stuff, right? And the ore boulders, I believe. Ore boulders, right. So what you could do is you could theoretically map out every single ore on the planet and have sort of, like, this is a good spot. And you could have a list. And you just keep respawning until you start the the your your spawn at a good spot and then you uh go from there hmm. i don't i don't think i would ever go to that extent i think what i would probably do is be like i'm gonna run the first 20 minutes which is the time to quickly mod the ship to mobile quickly find a spot and if i find a spot in that 20 minutes i would just do the run because i think you can get a pretty yeah, quick yeah. time if you do it that way it's like uh, I've tried to do like speed runs of Dark Souls in the past. All right, I didn't realize you'd done any before. Well, just like for my own, like I never recorded them or like posted them anywhere or anything hmm. like that. I just did them for fun. Yeah, yeah. And oh my god, I got six hundred thousand gold. Um, six hundred thousand ice. I should have more than enough now. And my tank is filling, and now I need more power. Uh, but what I did was you would do the speed run and you would get to a certain enemy called the Black Knight and you would kill him and if he drops his halberd you you continue. If he doesn't drop his halberd you reset. <laughs> but there was like 10 minutes of running and doing the speed run prior to that. Hmm. I, th I just had an interesting suggestion from my chat uh, which yeah. is perhaps the time should start from clicking start new game but then people will just keep doing that bit until they get a good result the the challenge i guess is you don't like people are going to want to if this ever became a serious thing which i don't think it should become a serious thing i don't think space engineers is a good speed running game um but if it ever did i think the way to do it would be to just accept that people are going to keep respawning until they get the spawn they want. However they go about doing that, but then you just try and limit other aspects that might be problematic. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's so many different things. Uh, Kanajashi has set up a drill to get ice. I chose not to, because I figure that I've put time into building a mining ship, I may as well use it for everything. Because I have to build the mining ship because I need that for the gold. You just you can't build a drill rig for gold in any vaguely efficient manner. It's too too deep. Yeah. Uh, Damalak, I did do a grand tour speedrun. It took me nine and a half ish hours to land on every planet and build a flag. And that's why Kanadashi and I decided not to do that here. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't want to do a nine and a half hour run that we might have to do again. Oh god, no. <laughs> exactly. Why are my computers in barrel cells? Can that put you into production? Oh, they're being stolen by my... That's where they're going. My welder is taking them. Screw you, welder. I want to build another engine. I will, I will queue up four batteries for you. There you go, welder. You can have all the materials you want now. I just want to get a third engine online for power. Mm. Yeah, I was, I was reasonably right, so happy with that. So my hydrogen tank is full. Build I did. Thanks. My I need to put on <laughs> hydro thrusters. Oof. Someone in chat just said I should start doing wasted length streams. No. I built a tank. No, I'm not oh, doing twelve hours a day every day. That's not... insane. Uh, because the drill built the tank, not the drill. The the welder built the tank, and not me. I didn't get it unlocked for progression. Get the 
here we go. Okay, now I gotta unlock them. Now I can make thrusters. There we go. Uh, let's make industrial thrusters, because they look cool. Wasted's insane though. He plays until he gets so tired that he then stops playing and starts watching old videos of him doing remote control car racing. <laughs> Which is actually when he's really fun to watch, personally. Because um, he rambles about all sorts of random things. But he's still insane. But yeah, on, on the... That's on the topic of super long streams. Um, I yeah, I think I think the idea of doing something that we might be able to get the time down to two and a half hours is the right sort of length because it's long enough that you're gonna lose focus and you're gonna struggle to keep that focus the whole time, but it's short enough that you can do it maybe a couple of times in a day if you wanted to. Thank you. Times of the day is not excessive. Okay, uh, built. How are you going with your speed modules? Have you got them all built already? On my well, my assembler? Yeah. Uh, refinery. Oh, on the refinery for speed? You going? Uh, oh, no, what are I you going on your refinery? Well, I was, I was thinking of yield, but I guess I could go speed. Well, I actually don't know which is better. It depends how quickly you can get the necessary gold. Whether you can get that quicker than you can refine it or not. And I don't know how that maths works out. It might be faster to get the speed, because, yeah, the gold refining is pretty slow. It is. Uh, but, like, it's, again, you have to go and do the mining. So if there's something else you could be doing during that time... I don't know. I genuinely don't know the answer. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, throw, let's try speed. I'll try some speed modules today. You know, I regret saying this because that might have been my only chance of getting back. <laughs> right. Too bad, so sad. We're going speed modules for fun. Uh, I think the I Wasted's idea of doing a drone-only series is more of a let's have some fun experimenting with stuff that's not in a hurry and I think it would add way too much time to a race like this and it's why like people in chat have given up given heaps of really good su suggestions about fun race ideas which could be fun to do as a race but would not be speed runs or not be the sort of competition that Kanajashi and I talked about doing for this because um, they'd, uh, they'd probably make each race take 20 plus hours. Ugh, no. Exactly. <laughs> Which is why I'm like, that's a great if idea. If I need to take a break and sleep between. For a full series. But not for a race. Every refinery, every upgrade module adds extra 100%. So every upgrade module for speed that you put on a refinery is the equivalent of another refinery. Mm -hmm. It's not a relative thing. Like you don't get more increase or less increase per upgrade module. Every upgrade module equals another refinery. That's just the way it works. Uh, am I running out of silicon? I have. Do I, I, no, I do not want to do a 24-hour stream. That sounds <laughs> like pain. Yeah. It, I've done... I think the longest stream I've done was like 14 hours. And it was fun. But it was hard. Like, it was really exhausting in a variety of ways. Um, Kapak and I, had, as our celebration of the last stream we would do as housemates um, mm -hmm. 
we streamed together for 14 hours. But we had a whole bunch of different games to play, so every couple of hours we're like, alright, time, we're going to stop playing this one, we're going to start playing this thing now. Which was a nice way to break it up. Okay, well if you were, yeah, you had another person to play with you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If I didn't yeah. have someone to play with, it would Solo just be me sitting here talking to myself <laughs> for 14 hours, I would fall apart. <laughs> I would probably do the same. Yeah, solo stream for that long would be so difficult. Props to the people who do it, but they're probably doing bad things to their health as well. Don't go industrial refinery, making me that gold. Okay, so now I can start thinking about a grav generator. Yeah, you're at that point, are you? Yep, it's just gonna be uh, getting the uh, getting the ship flying, and I'm almost there. Soon it'll just be waiting on a welder and building a uh, um, a jump drive. Yep. Cool. Soon. Soon. <laughs> Not quite yet. Uh, but my on. refinery is working on its gold, and it's got full speed now. I should probably put another speed onto my assembler, too. Because I can. Silver. Let's grab some. Okay, making the making the computers for it. How much silver Excellent. did you say you thought we needed? Oh, oh, I can look at my list here. Uh, three hundred fifty kgs of ore. So Hardly not a any. terrible, um, terribly large amount of ore then. Silver um, processes at a better rate than gold. Yeah. I need 75,000 gold. Uh, we just put it all into the cargo container. See you, Moosey. I currently have about... 20, and this gold was maybe another... 30, 40? I don't know. I'm getting there. You need 733.33 gold. Yep. I've got a couple of hundred, I think. Ready? Okay. I need silver. Time to go get silver. I I marked silver. Yeah, it's over there. disconcerting when you lose your third person camera while mining and then realize that you're actually sideways <laughs> that's not good you shouldn't yeah. do that no, I shouldn't do that ah. you say there's silver here Mr. Waypoint I trusted you because I made you yes there is silver 80 meters down okay Angle, let's start drawing. Yeah, you, you hardly need any silver. Yeah. Just enough for like a respawn and, and a uh, the grab components, I think it yeah, is. The, the only thing that needs it. That need the most, I think. I think that's the only thing that requires any. Come, that'll be plenty of silver. The thing I'm worried I mean, it still about. Sounds like we're pretty close to each other. We're both finding silver at the same time. Like, 
I, I mean, if I manage to speed up, like if I, my catch up point is if I can get the gold faster than you. And if I've, because I started collecting gold early, and I've started refining it early, and if that pays off, then I might have a chance of meaningfully catching up to you. And of course, obviously, if something goes catastrophically wrong on your end, that's another potential chance of catching up. That's a few thousand silver. It's more than I'll ever need. Ooh, let's get out of here. Okay, right at the hole. Didn't break anything. All right, which way am I pointing here? I am pointing in the right direction. Good. Up we go. Small grid gone wild with large grid jump drive. I don't think that's the most efficient route. I think the most efficient route is just the most ridiculously under-equipped large grid that you can make. Do you have any uh, hydrogen production going? Yeah. I've got two engines running. Yeah, yeah, but you've got a tank filled for your ship? Nah. Not yet. Ah, okay, so I, I've got that ahead of you at least. Because that'll that doesn't take long. Just turn off the engines. All right, silver is collected. Ooh. Let's go grab some gold. Yeah, I think, um, I think there could be some balance to be discovered around the yield versus speed for at least one yield module. Uh, I genuinely can't think through the complex statistical analysis required to figure out which of those is faster. Considering the opportunity cost of using the speed modules is that you have to mine more. The opportunity cost of the yield modules is that you have to make more superconductor components. Which means mine using up some of your gold initially for a different project. Although I guess you could, once you have 20 left to be made, you could just grind off the yield module. 14 more gravity components. There we go. What are you talking about? How hard am I stopping myself from gribbling? My ship is beautiful. I actually think I could make this ship into something interesting, but it is seriously ugly. Alright, gravity generator is being built. Nice. Well done. Yep, sneak techs into the background to greeble my base in the background. While I'm running. Gravity generator and lock new blocks. I think that would be. I don't know. Tex has a habit to blow things up while he's greebling, too. I'm placing my jump drive. Nice. I'm wishing I had more ejectors. Got eight of them. I thought that was going to be enough. How many ejectors did you fit onto your mining ship? Ejectors? Yeah. Oh, four. Oh, really? Yep, works fine. How many drills you got? Three. Mine, mine cannot keep up with the amount of stone I'm mining while I'm mining gold. Are you using the drain all on your sorter? Um, just the sorter's off. Uh, the sorter's not doing anything. It's just there to filter. The ejectors pull everything. Oh. Interesting. I don't know. Uh, jump drive. Putting components into production. Okay. 
We're on the home stretch here. Yeah, I wonder whether uh, you could, whether I could do this quicker if I put a larger sorter and put a connector on as the ejector on one side of this ship, especially with the layout that I've got. Okay, I just need gold. Let's go. Nice. So you've you've got this all the cobalt, silver? you've got all the silver. You just need gold. Oh no, I. Uh, I think I got everything else I need. Uh, I should have lots of stuff. If not, it's all I can just easily grab yeah. it. But things are being processed. And I'm just I'm just trying to work out how far behind I am. That's all. <laughs> uh, I think I need a bit of more. I think I need a bit more cobalt. I need a thousand cobalt. How many cobalt do I have? Uh, yeah, I need more cobalt. That's easy enough. It's right below me. Yeah, directly. That's what I thought. Drain all axes a buffer. That's a bottleneck. This way is the most efficient layout. Although I do wonder uh, if a connector would cobalt be even hold. more effective. Cobalt hole. Time to take this drill rig down to the cobalt. Cool. I'm I'm building the jump drive. So that's something. Nice. Well done. <laughs> How is that a ship? It will fly. That makes it a ship. Does your ship need a gyro? Yeah, I've, I haven't added it yet, but I'm going to have an added gyro on it. I know, I'm not done building it. If I try to take off and I don't have a gyro, then you can laugh at me. <laughs> I give you full permission to laugh at me then. ship. Grab some more ice. Uh, no. So it's not seat, dump drive, engine sorted. It's Cockpit, respawn, power supply, jump drive, and then thrusters to get places. So you then also need a gyro, which means you need other things. So it ends up being a bit more than you think at first glance. I'm just going for cobalt again here. This is weird. Really, cobalt? Why are you over here? I thought I dug for you. And you need enough thrust at the. And you need a mag lock or a landing gear. Right. Landing here. I forgot about that. I should add that on. Let me make some space down here. This mine is tight. Uh, we're not building a base on Mars, we're just, once we lock down to Mars, that's the completion of today's efforts. And we're just trying to do it quickly. But it is not going super mm -hmm. quickly. It's already 3 hours 20 minutes. I think we're going to struggle we're to get it under fun. 4 hours. I think I'm going to struggle to get it under 4 hours. I think under 4 hours is entirely doable. I think under normal circumstances, just... Uh, like scraping in under three hours is doable, but man, I stuffed myself with the way I did my start. Oh god. Searching forever to get cobalt. Wasted me probably a solid half hour or more. I. Where the heck is my route out? Ship float there for a second. Where's my path? It's up into my left. Okay. 
I have lost myself down here in this tunnel. I just didn't know if I could just power straight up without hitting the ceiling. Yeah, it's... I'm always worried I'm going to snap something expensive off when I do this. Uh, it is land safely on Mars. We have to lock to the surface with an intact respawn point, power supply, and obviously the landing gear. None of the rest of the ship needs to survive, but the lock down to the surface bit is... has to be done with functional parts. Yep. Cobalt. I need just a single load of you and then I've got enough. It's the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Good. Uh, were you planning on using parachutes, kind of Jesse? Nope. Yeah, neither. Suicide burn. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. I've rolled my miner. <gasps> Is it okay? Yeah, it's intact. I've just rolled it. I need to create space so I can roll it back with the gyros. Gyro. Oh dear. I didn't want to break anything off, that's why I didn't just flip it over. It's cobalt back in there. Let's get both the in little refineries on the cobalt. That's my little creative spot. Okay. Basic refinery. Work on cobalt. Excellent. I might need to add another basic refinery. I cannot tell what I've just done to this miner. Well, that's no good. I think I just flipped it upside down worse. Oh, dear. Yeah, I think that's fixed. Yay, fixed. Oh, man. Today is a day of what can go wrong will go wrong for Splitty. Ah. Give me outside perspective, stupid game. <laughs> okay, that is another basic refinery. Great, okay, I'm not doing the longer but safer approach to this cobalt. Gravity. So all I need now is my gravity comps and superconductors. I've already got 300 of the superconductors done. Wow. Nice. That's okay. Cobalt. I think we're doing fine. Let's check my batteries. Are they recharging? Recharging too slowly. More engines! Especially because I've got all the hydrogen I need, so I can max out on engines now for power. interested in trying to build a clan drive because they're to do them well and stably you need to run scripts to be able to control the directions of them you are never going to be able to, well i'm never going to be able to build one of them quicker than i can build right, a I very basic ship yes i'm gonna need to build a respawn a survival kit on the ship i'm getting to that i know people the ship isn't done 
<laughs> I love how unaccustomed you are to having people like, remind you to do stuff. <laughs> it's just like, I know. <laughs> it's just normal internet stuff. It's fine. I'm, I'm still building. Uh. Oh, my dog's looking at me with this um play with me look. Huh. Just she has a little uh, plushie of a gorilla. She's chewing on it and staring at me. <laughs> Here we price anyway. I still got tons. Yeah, four, still got four hundred thousand. We're good. crashed into any trees this stream. Not unusual for me. Ooh. I think the only time there's been this few trees crashed into by me during a stream was when Tex accidentally streamed to my channel. The the thrusters, yes, they take a tiny bit of hydrogen to use the pi like to keep the pilot light on. It's microliters a second. It's not even worth caring about. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. There we go. Maxed out on the engines. Uh, we are not in the same world. We're both playing single player on our own worlds. Yep. Can't have lag impacting the result. So that would be unfair for whoever had to deal with it. Uh, the timer is the Kanajashi and I are using is called what's it called? Kanajashi, it's live split. split. Live split, something yeah. like that. Uh, mine is live split. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have. It's pretty sure we're both using the same one. Fair amount of power going into my batteries now. That's excellent. They should be fully recharged in 20 minutes. All right, gold. It's my, my only concern right now is gold. It's the only thing I have to do is get gold. So let's get it. Need to get cobalt. That's the iron mine. Mine as well. I should offload all my ice before I disconnect. <laughs> well, next time we do this, mm -hmm. we can uh, we can do it with industrial overhaul and daily needs on. <laughs> Ugh! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Terrible idea. No, it's fun. What are you talking about? Well, if you really want to hate your life, why don't we do it with Survival Less Likely on as well? Alright. <laughs> well, we'll still be here next year. We'll just do it as like a, a stream series. We just do like three or four hours every weekend and eventually we'll be there. Even co-op we wouldn't get there, I think. I think we'd probably... I think Wrong Way Up would be a shorter series. Than that. Wait. Well, Let's get the drop that off and get it working. That's something I haven't tested since the latest update, and I didn't see it mentioned anywhere in the patch notes. I don't think they fixed Armageddon mode yet. It's been broken for a few years now. We mean I'm broken. Uh, as in you don't get Armageddon level of meteors. Ah. Yeah. You actually get more meteors on the next setting down than you get on Armageddon. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, we could do this, but with, with a cert on. 
Well, that's that's going to be my next kind of solo regular streams is going to be getting back to updating that and setting it up with um, some really cool features that Grazob has modded for me. Um, basically giving you a reason to keep capturing the assert ships. Because you'll be able to get special better thrusters from them. That you can oh, only cool. get from That's them. An interesting way of doing it. Yeah, so they've got that like they're not OP, they're just, you know, 15%, 20% more efficient. Thanks, Lock Dive, for four months. Um, so yeah, they it's still relatively balanced. But just gives you a reason to want to go and grab them and also crane full blocks onto your own grids. Even in the later game when you could throw it away without needing something like all oh, scrap. Because you won't be able to build the blocks, you can only steal them. <laughs> um, that's the goal anyway. I just need to get the mod to a point where I can implement that properly. Because I think it'll add some really cool stuff. How much silver do I need remaining? I need 23 more silver. Don't I have that? Thirteen there. I have tons of silver. There we go. Um, yeah. So, a cert on Xbox is always going to be a tricky topic because you have to run a server to run any of those sorts of mods. Oh, I have to go get some more iron. Do I plan to give a cert the new weapons? I uh, maybe. Some of them. Not too many, though. Can I plunge this again? I might as well do this. Might as well, so I have tons of ice. I don't have to worry <laughs> about it. I don't think making it a med bay that we have to take would make this challenge especially more difficult or time consuming. It's just waiting for a bit more silver. Yeah. I mean, once you've got all this industry set up, at that point, you're just, well, that's just another couple minutes. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I just saw lightning strike. Did it just hit my base? Mm. I've gotten hit by lightning. I'm just, <laughs> I'm so screwed. That's not a good thing. Looks to be intact. That's good. Ah, and apparently Lucas is running into some issues with mod.io, Space Engineers, and the Xbox version of Modern Encounter Systems, so... For now, it's still broken for Xbox users, sadly. And hey, Lucas, how's it going? The iron plugged back in. Basic refineries, and let's get that iron processing. Because I need. What's going on? Oh, my drills are flunking. That's what's going on. Did you go down too far? What are you? What are your drills doing? Ah, oh, they just. They're being dumb. That's all. My ice drills are just being silly. Ah. I was wondering why I was hearing like clangy type noises, and oh, I was right. like, "Oh." I just needed to retract them a little bit, and now they're fine. Fair enough. Ooh, 
Uh, no, I am not going to turn all of this into a ship and make the flight. I'm going to lay out my ship in a second. Uh, I've almost got the gravgen built, so once it's built, I will be able to lay everything out. What is this whinging about? Nickel. Cool. Why are you whinging about nickel? I've got nickel. <laughs> Silly assembler. I am about half done with my um, gold. I oh, mean, wow. half done with my superconductors. Uh, I currently have 400 gold. Nice. I need to mine some more, though. You need 733 ingots. Okay. Grab gem belt. Well, this. Inventory's full. What? Okay, well. See, chat, there's a reason I placed the welder here in this orientation, because I knew I was going to place the gyro there later. <laughs> uh, the fun that you're having. <laughs> oh, no, my dog needs to go out. That's all right. I need to go do that. Anyway, we're right. back. See you in a sec. Hey, thanks, PJ and stuff. Uh, yes, I was building the gravgen for progression, same as Kanajashi had to do it before. Um, Kanajashi's chat is now asking me what are my thoughts on Kanajashi. Oh, what, no, wait, what are my thoughts on it, Kanajashi? I misread it. That would have been an awkward thing to talk about. Oh, I'm so far behind. If I can get this gold, I might be... I reckon I can keep the gap to within half an hour. Maybe? Maybe? I just really need to collect a lot of gold. Right. I'm back. Oh. So that is most Somebody of my chat thinks I might have more gold than you, but that doesn't sound right if you've already got half your power conduits built. Superconductor means. Hmm. You say you've got oh, half maybe. your superconductors built. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've got enough gold for half of them. I just haven't started actually making them yet, which might be a problem. I also haven't started making my ship yet, which is is a problem. Yeah, my ship's partially made already. I need to get a battery built and charging, or a couple, so that they can more rapidly charge the jump drive all right there we go my ship is mostly ready except for oh right that's what I needed to put here this is gonna be a survival kit Survival kit facing this way, and then a cockpit. That's what I need. See you, Zwiber. Uh, how much gold have I got? 
So for anyone who has joined relatively recently, Kanajashi and I are trying to get to Mars as quickly as possible, and we have to land there with a power source and a respawn point, and be locked we to Voxel. Care. That's it. Everything else is... Uh, well, it's vanilla. And everything else is... Uh, up for strategy. Mm-hmm. Well, my landing gear is built. My survival kit on the yeah. thing is just about to be built. <laughs> Does I, I need to go get some more boxes count as locked? <laughs> I d no, because then you use a piston. Well, because you can crash a piston into the ground at high speeds and it'll embed you in the ground and probably not take damage. Ah, oh, but it, I, you mm. need to be locked. You need to be a static grid. Wait, do I have enough gold now? How much gold do I have? Uh, no, hardly enough. Okay, more gold! I am halfway done and then I'm needing more gold. You might have more gold mined, but I'm more along the. Uh, yeah, in you've production done the other you. stuff. up a jump drive. So what do I need? I need... So I've got enough silver. How much gold have I got? Uh, 430. I've got enough cobalt. Almost. Yeah, I've got enough cobalt. All right, let's let's play around with these things. Let's throw out that silver so it doesn't get refined. Get rid of the cobalt. It's back with refining. Uh, let's go gold. Can, oh man, I'm 15 minutes. I wonder if I can make it under. <laughs> I don't think you can. All right. Time to get this show on the road. processing here. Huh? What was... What? Hmm? What? Oh. Um, no. <laughs> Jackson's just uh, making comments about your choice of language. That's all. What about it? Oh. Does, don't, don't worry. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, how much stuff. gold do I need left? I need 300 more ingots, so I need uh, 10 times that. No, 100 times that. 30,000 more. Four. So... I have 20,000. I need another 10,000 or so ore. And then I'm done. For gold mining. Cool. Well done. Okay. 
Brass belts. Get that cockpit belt. Couple motors, please. No, actually, I probably don't want to do the jump drive yet. Let's just do those. All up. I can talk all the drills off, sure. You don't want me to. Let's see. Gyro is built. Jump drive just needs a gravity component and six, no, 400 more things. My batteries are all charged. My tank is full. Uh, as soon as that is built and charged, I can get the heck out of here. Uh, no, I'm not flying the whole base to Mars. I did that in the previous run. That was a really slow way of doing things. I flew effectively an entire Ooh, base. Silver for that. Very slow way of doing things. 1,500 more iron. Yep, I've got enough iron. I just need to go make one more load of gold and then I'm done my resource gathering. Yeah, I'm going to take the O2 tank at the end. You are? Yeah, people are being like, oh my god, you need an O2 tank. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> oh, the little bottle. Oh yeah, I call them tanks. Yeah, I, 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 know, I, I try and remember bottles, to but... differentiate them as bottle versus tank, because then it, I don't confuse myself. Thanks, Blank. Uh, you don't need a downwards thruster, chat. Thanks, more Your downwards thruster is gravity. Thanks for the bits. I think I'm going to take off before four hours, though. Uh, that's possible. I think, given what you've been saying. Yeah. And then I'll just bring up your stream on, uh, yeah, on mute or something like that, and watch you finish. <laughs> yep. I think this should probably be enough gold now. Yeah, and Chad's like, yeah, oh, you're on good track unless you flip your miner out. Yeah, unless you unless you flip your miner, or even worse, flip your last flip your ship at the end. Uh. Because that would be obviously go. Let's get out of disastrous. here. Disastrous. In space, you need downwards? No, you don't. Nah. That's what the gyro's for. You rotate yeah. around to kill your speed. Oh. Remember, I'm a highly skilled space engineer here. I know what I'm doing. And that's the sort of comment that means you'll, you're about to make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, cargo container. Get that cobalt out of Ugh. that thing. Uh, bread and scripts are not allowed. This. The way that Kanajashi set and I set this up is we thought if we make it all very vanilla, in theory, if people really wanted to and they played on Xbox, they could give it a crack too. Okay. Uh... No, I'm not sure I'd agree with uh, your chat there that having more than one direction of thrust is wasted time. There's a lot of challenge in landing safely at the other end move this. if you have only one direction of thrust. Yeah, in case in point, I'm actually going to reorient a welder so that I can use it as a piping port for another thruster. Did you build more than one refinery or did you just build one? One refinery. Yeah, I, I think that works out being the best way because you end up spending too much time for your manufacturing and 
making the second refinery. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming that there is like a, a calculation that can be done that would tell you exactly yep. what is the correct way. But I feel like you'd need to be some sort of actuary to do it. Well, we're not just getting to space. If you wanted to get to space, you could literally do it from the respawn pod. You just immediately yeah. turn on that hydro engine as soon as you spawn and start blasting your way upwards, and you'll get to space. Yeah, not much, not much of a challenge to get to space. But this is getting to Mars. Like the whole trouble here is getting this. Uh, yeah, you need the jump drive, jump and the drive. jump drive takes so much to build. Yeah, seven hundred and sixty backbone of industry. Five superconductors made and installed. Nice. I think I've got almost uh, enough gold, and I'll have. It's going to be gold. a matter of how fast can I produce stuff while you're already on your way. Yep, I'm done. I have enough gold. Nice, well done. You're definitely getting there quicker uh, than me, but I don't think anyone has any doubt full. about that. Now, time to set up some groups. Uh, all right, it's not going to give me freaking which. Ah, when do I think I'm right here? Uh, up, 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 up thrusters into upwards group. Set that as a group that I can change the thrust override on. Yeah, I guess the correct way might be, the fastest way might be multiple assemblers. Um, or really just trying to get speed modules onto stuff. I feel like um, one of the things Kanajashi and I might talk about after this is what we think we would do to improve our own times. Which, with the way things are going, I'm going to get to put into practice what kind of Jashi does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As I attempt to catch up and beat his time. Got my oxygen bottle, got my that bottle. I might as well top up my health. I, mean, I had a couple bumps with terrain like two hours ago and I haven't healed from it yet. Yeah, I'm sitting at 88 myself. For probably similar reasons. Of course, I've died twice. Oh, you have? Oh, I yeah. haven't died. The, the death early on, the not being able to find the resources early on has totally stuffed me up. I think cutting those out, I can improve my time dramatically. But I don't know what else to do with the order that I'm actually going to remember to do if, if I'm mid-playing. <gasps> if this thing doesn't need grieveling chat, I can just leave. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's, um, it's spies from my chat trying to get you to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and uh, one thing I know I need to do off the top is I need to take this gyro down to 20% power. <laughs> oh, gyro yeah. on a tiny grid. You do not want a tiny large grid with a massive full power gyro. That's the worst. You know, it just turns the thing into like a little flippy thing. Yeah. You just break anything you're near. Right. I should just be able to sit in my cockpit here and wait. I am at 881 uh, built and installed. I'm not sure who else, content creator-wise, that I've done stuff with, um, would want to do this sort of challenge. I'm not sure Wasted... I definitely don't think Shaq or Kapak would want to do this. Um, there might be some others that, I, that would be interested. I don't know about DE. Uh... But yeah, I think there's a there's a special kind of pain to this that a lot of people don't enjoy. 
last hundred superconductors. Oh yeah, Andrew, Andrew man might do it. Uh, Thanks, Own Galaxy. I'm gonna mute my mic for a second and chew on some really loud chips. Enjoy your chips. Ooh, would Zock do it? Hmm. A couple's challenge. <laughs> mm, is this where I ditch Kapak and bring Kanajashi as my other? <laughs> I don't know how my batteries are full too, which is nice. I don't know how Zoc goes with um, vanilla SE. I imagine he spends a lot of time in it, but I don't know how much he actually plays the survival. You can't cheat on Capac like that. And if oh. I want to win, yes, I do not bring Capac. Capac doesn't want to do these things though. Kanajashi and I even talked with him about that. He doesn't. He has no desire to do anything like this. Oh my god, it's gonna be so close to the four-hour mark for my uh, my jump drive. I want to steal one of the uh, superconductors into my character's inventory. I want to put it in the last one in myself. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. All right, my batteries are not quite built. I need more power cells. Why are you not building power cells? seconds to four hours. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get there. I've only got 10 more superconductors or 15. Uh, there are a few. I, I, there's a Rocket League in Space Engineers that um, Bruce Little Little Lee made that one. Oh, it's going to be over four hours. No. Oh. Oh. Nine hundred ninety-seven, nine hundred ninety-eight. <laughs> Put in that last gravity component. Come on, production, make that last gravity component. Hey, that's everything in there. Well done. And okay, jump drive built. Yeah, you're uh, miles ahead split. of me, man. Control split. There we go. Four hours and twenty-five seconds. You are so far ahead of me. <laughs> Uh, fully recharged in seven minutes, then I can get out of here. <laughs> oh, hi, my my puppy came to say hi. <laughs> yes, the two-hour estimate was optimistic. Mm. However, Splitsy's run before this took like a very long time, so this is a. Uh, well, this that was is a, improving no matter what. That was a very, it was a different run though. I was going to every planet. I don't know how long it took me to get to this point though. Because I, I'd, yes. I'd wasted a huge amount of time building an excessively large vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yes, O2 gens eat energy, but each O2 gen provides enough hydrogen for an engine to run, meaning each combination is plus 4.5 megawatts. Yeah. Assuming it, I have the ice. It does not fit with the laws of thermodynamics as you know them. And I do have the ice. I have 600,000 ice. <gasps> and it's... The day is coming. It's going to be daytime when I launch. <laughs> and I can see Mars from my spot here. <laughs> beautiful. It's so Very beautiful. Very handy. Uh... Alright, six minutes and I'm out of here. Wow. Yeah, what have I got on my... Uh, decrease distance, increase distance. There we go. Actually, I'm going to change that around. I've got the time. Increase distance, then jump. There we go. 
How many jumps to Mars? One. Yeah. Hopefully. That's the plan. Yeah, if you stuff up your jump to Mars, then I can theoretically catch up. If you're on the close side, Mars' gravity well is about 1,800 kilometers. Mm -hmm. If you're on the far side, you have to jump around the planet first. The four batteries are on here in case I need to recharge this thing. It takes three batteries to recharge it at full speed. And then the other battery provides, you know, stuff for the rest of the ship to function on. So as soon as this is charged, I cut this off, which should liberate this from its uh, mm. the landing here. And then I take off and I go to space. Yes, I have let, yet to land. I can always crash and explode. This is true. <laughs> that is very true. Yep. Life can always fail. You can always find a way for things to go terribly, terribly wrong. Mm hmm Lights in case you hit nighttime at Mars. No, just aim for that side of it. Let me see where there's light. I mean, I could put a spotlight facing down. I got a couple minutes here. I ain't building anything right now. Um, I could even put it here and have this uh, be automatically built. What are you What are you trying to do at the moment? Hmm. What are you trying to do at the moment? I lost track oh, I just put a spotlight pointing straight down so that I can actually see where I'm going to land. Ah, in case, in case it's, dark. it's dark. Fair enough. Because I need to wait anyway, and I'm going to make my spotlight beige instead of pure white. <laughs> I do like that we both do that. So much oh, better. I forgot about this. I have to weld up. No, I'm not gonna put a warfare to searchlight. Trust us. The the warfare searchlight is gonna like go off on some other direction and not point down when I need to, because it's a turret. Unless you turn off the idle movement of it. Yeah, but that's silly. <laughs> when I could just put a spotlight pointing straight down, easy peasy. Fair enough. What are we at? Two minutes! Two minutes to launch! Is this not getting its full power here? Still I've got a gyro. See? Gyro, survival kit, power supply, jump drive, thrusters. That's all I need. Oh, actually, no, there is one other block I need to place. That's alright. Uh, two other blocks I need to place. That's okay, I'll get them. Oh, do my Mars landing at 420. Let's do it. Ugh. <laughs> Just joking. I'm fully charged in one minute. Crunchy chips. Come on. 45 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Thirty seconds. All right, that's gonna speed things up a bit. Five, four, oh no, three, 
two, one. Drop drive, fully charged. Detach. Good luck, Kanajashi. Don't crash. Ship detached. Or do you? Or do you? You know, do your own. And lift off. are ascending well done the people saying landing gear landing gear it's there it's on the bottom of the freaking ship it's been there for an hour fuel critical <laughs> i've got no two bottle i'm only going to be about like 10 minutes to get there yeah it won't take you long to get there it's the landing that takes the longest i like that i took one of my welders with me <laughs> It just ended up being part of the design. <laughs> it's less of a ship and more of a jump drive with thrusters. Yes. Pretty much. Exactly. That's exactly what you want to make. That's the point. You want to make the smallest capable ship that you can. And I don't think it matters whether Kanajashi turns his welder off or not. If he's got three batteries, he's got more than enough power. My fuel tank is right there in the middle. Also, I'm going to watch my ascent on spectator camera. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's take some screenshots of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, steam screenshots. Oh no, I built the wrong things. Queued up the wrong Yeah, I don't need thruster. parachutes, I got thrusters. I caught that before it happened. Alright. All We're right. at 13 kilometers high. Batteries are charging. Have I got enough gold? I'm pretty sure I do. I should have used one of the new standing control things. I could have. I definitely could have. Okay, have enough gold, have enough cobalt. Should have enough nickel and should have enough iron. You know? You don't need thrust in that direction. That's what gravity's for. Yeah. There for. I'm. I'm. Like I know. I know there are some people who put down thrust on their atmospheric craft, but I never do. It's just added oh. weight that you have to lift with your lift thrusters when gravity's going to do the work for you. Hey, how's the jump drive looking? Two more grav components, 600 more semiconductor components. I've used 15% of my ascent so far. But my H2 for one tank. <laughs> Splitsy not tell you that you have to self-isolate on Europa for an hour? Mars is strict. <laughs> Aussie only policy. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is not the first time I've lost a race on stream. Shaq beat me in the Top Engineer Challenge. He was the first at the pole. I was very close, but he was the first there. This is not out of the ordinary, and it is not something that's upsetting me. I'm having fun. This is so much more fun doing this without just it being an arbitrary, with it being a less arbitrary challenge. Knowing that I've I will have to now improve my time to try and beat Kanajashi. It's kind of cool. It's exciting. Yep. Something fortunate oh. for me is I grew up as the youngest of... with two older brothers and two older sisters, and one of my older brothers always beat me. I am not afraid to lose things and still have fun doing them. Mm -hmm. 
28 kilometers up. Uh, idea for a storyline for us? Your whole of either of you? Yeah, go. In description, they're linked to my Discord. Find me ah, on there and ow. send me a PM. My face got toasted. Oh, did you try to lick one of your thrusters again? It's more the capac thing, but I, I did manage to get my face a little bit toasty. Mm, right. I was oh, more yeah, trying not, to sniff it to see what it smelled like. I'm not pushing the uh, speed here. I'm on thrust override. I'm just... I'm so high up, the lowest amount of thrust override How many is giving me 10 to 100 meters a second. Hmm? How many lifting thrusters did you build? Four smalls. Okay. Let's see if I can get away with two, because I don't really want to spend the time making four when you're already that far ahead of me. That's understandable. I just have it so I can like have a more consistent and hmm. sort of screw-up proof um, <laughs> suicide burn. Yeah, that's fair. the point where Jeez, I'm, I came close to that asteroid. Oh. I'm almost at the point where I'm just waiting for the jump drive to be built. It's like my number one fear is when I do these like straight up ascents, I'm always afraid I'm just going to fly straight into an asteroid. <laughs> yeah. I like guess low chance, but it's possible. I've never done it yet, but yeah. I saw an alien, not an alien, like a uh, what are they? Bad guy markers. SPRT. Space Pirates. Ooh. Can we just not go that direction? How about? <laughs> Come on, just get me into space. I'm already 40 kilometers up. Okay, I'm in space. Well done. Alright, aim it. Mars. Activate jump. Cannot use it in gravity. Well, excellent. Pull back the jump slightly. Okay. Really? How far am I going to have to jump here? Thanks, Vanilla Thunder. Yeah, no, no blueprints, no scripts, nothing from, nothing yeah, external that isn't just your memory right. of stuff. That can't be right. How far am I jumping here? All right, let's just start coasting towards Mars for a second here. <laughs> it should be 2,000 meters away. Are you having trouble with lining your jump? No, I'm aiming right at Mars, and it's... I'm... There's no way! That's correct. How far is it telling you to go? Oh, like under a thousand meters. Oh. No, that's yeah, not right. Yeah, there's no way that's correct. Mm. I'm just going to do a five-kilometer jump straight up. The, oh, uh, you think you might be hitting your own the the Earth gravity well? Yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I can't even make a five kilometer jump. What's going on? Uh, what's the smart play here? I don't want, I'm coasting away from the planet as fast as I can. silly if this entire time we did all the speed run and then uh, jump drives were borked 
<laughs> oh, don't, 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 no. Please, no. That would be so annoying. Oh no, someone just said in chat, I think I saw a bug on support forum about jump drive not working, period. Uh, okay, I guess you, you just go until you uh, try reload. to activate your jump drive and then I'm done. Uh, they're so, saying save and reload might be, might fix it. I'll try that. <laughs> well, I've still got another 340 superconductor components to be made. Yeah, I'm like 50 kilometers from the planet and I can't use my jump drive. That sounds broken. I think you should stop your timer. All right. Oh Control. no. Split. There we go. I'm gonna call it there. It's like four hours, 18 minutes or something. Oh yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna go create a mode and I'm going to cut my ship. Thanks, and I'm gonna kids. fly myself to Mars and put myself in orbit. Okay. Uh, make a GPS so you kind of go at the distance you were gonna set. That way you can do a jump oh, at that oh, range. Too late. Let's put myself just outside of the... Yeah, see how much longer it takes to do that bit. Also, I forgot to do my All split right. when I... Oh, no, I haven't got my jump progress. I'll unsplit here. Oh, cool. It actually remembered my time when I unsplit. Huh. It's... Oh, I mean, it oh, seems like it's pretty well-designed software. <laughs> wasn't that an amazing jump? It was instantaneous. Yep. Uh, let's see. I was, I'm 1794 from my base. And I'm in Martian atmosphere. I wonder if, um, I wonder if there are any, uh, come on brain. I wonder if there are any modded jump drives that work. I wonder. Yes, the wind turbine is directly above me. I will not be flying through it. <laughs> Do please right, remind me again, though. Because there's a very high chance that that's the sort of thing I would forget. And I'm falling. Falling towards a planet. Thanks for the gift sub, Uncle Festa. And I'm going to turn on my global hockeys again. So I can split this as soon as I get down. <laughs> I think, I think Kanajashi and I can both admit that the times that we achieved today I know we're near the times that we expect we could achieve. So whatever time Kanajashi posts, I'm happy to acknowledge it as a legit time. Mm -hmm. You think that's good, like man? 4.25. It's going to be about my time. Yeah. We'll see what mine is. Well, it's my production of the last 180 thingos is finished. Thanks, NetReader. Where, so our plan, Kanajashi and I, we've, I've talked about this a couple of times on the stream already, but our plans are to solo run these challenges after this first race. Um, and then if <laughs> we ever get sent any footage of someone doing an incredibly awesome time, um, and they're happy for us to use that on our channels, we might do a discussion around that together stream sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely a lot harder to do this quickly when you're talking to each other, isn't it? I don't know. 
it makes the time go by faster. It certainly didn't feel like four and a half hours. That's true. It does do that. Holy crap, Dragnon! <laughs> You're insane, man! Thank you so much. Are you worried about coming in too fast? And you know, that's why you're coming into this position so far out. gift subs. That's 120 uh, no, in this stream. That's where I probably would have been when I um uh did my jump drive if jump drives worked. Yeah. And I it, like you already had it done. You were fine. Um, I had plenty of time to. I could have done the the jump. Yeah, you did. You definitely did. And also. It's better just to free fall than to push towards the planet. Because if I start flying in any direction, my speed goes down to 100 meters a second. But yep. you can actually free fall at 104 meters a second. And if you start flying, you're going to go obliquely to the most direct course downward, which is gravity. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to get it perfectly yeah, aligned. Sideways velocity. There we go. Thanks for the bits, more bro. And thanks for the prime sub, the rat kev. 75 to go. And then I have to wait six minutes for it to charge. Yeah, see, we're not that far apart. It's not that, like, yeah. I thought I was going to do worse. It all balances out in the end. I honestly thought I was going to do worse at so many points during this. But uh, like, uh, like I was saying, I'm like, I know I'm going to lose, but I want to lose by as little as possible. I feel this speed run is essentially like those um, circus performers that have a whole bunch of plates on um, poles. <laughs> yeah. And the whole thing is you want to keep so many things happening at the same time. Like yep. You want to be refining your gold. You want to be refining these different materials. You want to have all these materials in quantity at the same time. Mm -hmm. And you just want to have always just enough. Yeah. Because if you just have like okay, I've mined my 100,000 iron I'm going to need. But then you stall out because you have no nickel. That happened to me. Yeah, and it ha it's happened so to me so many times. If I had a single cargo of nickel, I could have had the my wheels turning a lot better. Yeah. Thanks, Jay Dando. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, Mars it's... is so easy to see the ore deposits. Oh, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jump drive should complete. Yep, jump drive's complete. Excellent. And now we wait. And we turn off all of the stuff that's costing power. Five kilometers from the surface. And we grind off the things that are going to potentially break my ship. Three and a half. And we grind off the welder. Let's do a brake test. It takes me about 100 meters to break. So how did you line up your jump? Did you put a camera on or anything like that? I'm just using the cockpit. No. Oh. I'm... I'm... I, do you play with the co uh, crosshair on? Yep. Ah. Oh yeah, split time. Split time. Gah. Work, cordless, keyboard, jerk. That should not have taken two hours and 26 minutes to get from refinery to jump drive. Oh. Uh, yeah, I know, Gruz. Intentional. I don't need down thrust. Where we're going, we don't need down thrust. Why aren't you uh, connecting? Uh, Spectre Spectrum just said they used a jump drive in their own game with no mods. I wonder if it's a intermittent <laughs> bug. So I'll, I'll give it a crack I and see if I can get it to work. On impact. You blow up! Okay, I need to steal three s s grids from something. Oh no! Or three, three oh, steel no. plates. There we go, locked. Split. Nice. So what's the time <laughs> read on your end? Uh, four hours, twenty six minutes, and fifty nine seconds. Perfect. I I take that. I accept that as an, a a legit time. So I gotta beat four hours, twenty six <laughs> minutes in the next stream that I do doing this. All right. Oh man, 
thank God that didn't actually. Okay, if I could, I ever built this. I needed a hundred steel plates. <laughs> uh, I could I have salvaged you did that. the thrusters. Did you just do that for the drama? No, I gave it a little <laughs> too hot. I had the motors from the conveyor tubes. Yeah, I could have rebuilt this if it was like truly required. Okay, yeah, there's enough stuff to rebuild it in the um, emergency. Woo, baby. All right, we are on Mars, boys. Congratulations. Kanajashi is the victor. I will beat his time at some point, though, and then he'll probably beat my time, and then I'll try, probably try and beat his time, and so on and so forth. But we'll see how fast we can get. There's Earth. There's Earth. I want to see how far behind you I am, though, so I'm going to keep running this until I get there. I got to... Oh, man, Earth is in such a weird position. It's hard to get it in one shot. Oh, dear There God. it is. I just... I just... Uh, I just saw the Mankini photo. <laughs> I need to wash my eyes. <laughs> okay. All right, I guess I'm starting to live here now. Uh, Ooh, I found nickel. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes left on my jump drive charge. All right. Come on, chats. Predict your time that I'm going to get there. Acknowledging oh. that I may have to do a creative mode uh, cheat jump. Yeah, just... You'll have probably have to do the creative mode cheat jump. I will try not to. I'll see if it works. But if it doesn't work and I'm out of the gravity well, then I'll just... Um, creative mode and jump. Oh, that feel good. That was fun. My little lander made it. <laughs> the first two estimates, four hours, 45 minutes, then 17 hours. You expect me to crash three times? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, where did I put the survival kit? It is literally right here below the cockpit. And in total, I used up 30% of my hydrogen. So yeah, you don't you use were, much. If you were gutsy, you know. <laughs> well, it takes so little time to fill that back up, though. Well, I wonder if I can go... Oh, Twitch doesn't let me go back this far and chat to see where who got it most... Who got the All closest. Right. Everybody on my stream, go over to Splitsies to watch his. The, uh, and or you just I'm watch bring and up, commentate if you want. It's up to you. I'm going to bring up Twitch Yeah. and watch it. Although I have to mute it as soon as I... Uh, yeah, you probably want to. Who knows what you're gonna advertising you're going to get hit with. Oh, yeah. Ads. It's people doing Olympics things. Oh, yeah, that's on at the moment, isn't it? Such long, unskippable ads. All oh, right, yeah. I also have to finish my prediction on my um, chat. Because we know the outcome now. Choose outcome. Kanajashi. It was a pretty even split with the channel points. Yeah? Yeah, it was 51% to you, 49% to me, I think. Um, my chat was like... Yours was 60, 60 40. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yours was very strongly in your favor. <laughs> uh, this was... Yeah, pretty even. Mm-hmm. I see your base set up. Oh, cool. You're right on the edge of the uh, ice. Thanks, Tibby boy. Uh, yeah, so I can get stone if I need it. I just drilled under the ice and he was getting stone from the uh, the bottom. Yeah, I just figured that drilling was a bit far to go. All right, we got 30 seconds. Mm. I'm going to detach now. I'll just use my batteries for the remainder. How many bats you got? Two. And we are overloaded on power, but that's fine. Let's get past this before I switch to overrides. Oh, you only got 63% hydrogen. Huh. Oh well. Whatever. You'll be fine. Also, you only need one thruster. 
for a cent. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, good Depends point. Depends how fast you want to be Breaking able to Breaking at the yourself. other end. One thruster does leave you a little bit liable for things to go very pear-shaped. Yep. It's been around. I haven't seen your ship at all. That's it. Gotta wait oh, for the stream uh, to catch wait, up. Wait, I am... Oh, whoa, yeah, yours is like... Ah, I just screenshotted. And I am in offline mode. Dang it, I should have gone online so that you could join me afterwards. We should do that. If we do a race like this again, we should both play online so then we can join the other person's game and actually use Spectator. Ah, uh, yes. That would have been a better way to do this. Here I am, just sitting on the surface of Mars, hanging out. <laughs> Wonder what my chat's doing. My I'm just watching kit you is now. right there. <laughs> See if you can make it back to Earth before he launches. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I'm deliberately overboosting beyond the speed limit as well. I'm also just going to move the sun because I want to see what this place is like when the sun shine. There we go. So where did I end up in on Mars? Oh, well, my jump drive's charged. Uh, where is the mountain? The mountain. The giant Mars pimple. There it is. There is uh, the pimple. The reason I've got a camera is so that I can mo confidently angle my jump to hit Mars. That's that's the reason for it. I can't remember. <laughs> Aren't there... I'm, I'm sorry, Splitzy. Up. I retract my previous statement about Splitzy equals perfect build. You win the weird build metal. Yeah, I do weird stuff when I'm trying to build for a purpose. I I kind of want to see your builds now. Can you send me some pics of yours in our Discord chat? I'm kind of curious what you oh. sent. Sure. Oh god, my uh, spectator camera is really fast now. Taking some pretty, pretty pictures. All right, I'll go send them along in Discord right cool. now. I'm just, I'm just genuinely curious. Upload a file. Go to the screenshots. I'll need to, uh, once I get to Mars, I'll have to show you in Spectator Cam what my mining ship looked like. Oh, yours is quite neat. Oh, and you built a full landing gear as well. Yeah, I am. They're a bit more expensive. That's why I went with a maglock. Yeah, well. It works. No, if the jump drives work, jump drive works here, I'd be recommending Kanajashi reinstall his SE. But I don't think it's that. I think I've heard in I've heard that there is a bug with the um, jump drive. I just didn't realize it was a bug that was going to affect us today. I thought it was just some, there were some issues with them, but I, I didn't really read through the stuff that I'd come across last night. Twenty-seven and a half kilometers up. I You're do have a there. gyro. Thank you for the reminder to turn its power down. Did you do that like when I did mine an hour ago? I didn't have it built yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I constructed my ship all right, like really quite quickly all at once, rather than having bits building over time. I do like your mm -hmm. little backpack. It almost looks like a little dude. I'm going to go for a little fly because that's wow. kind of Jesse's ship. It's so cool. And 
a little bit further. I'm just gonna go troll around on the surface of Mars until I run out of hydrogen and crash. Uh, sounds like a plan, I guess. It's something to do. Uh, da, 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 da. It's annoying them. I want to find the monoliths, but they're they don't spawn in. Uh, solar system start if i'm not mistaken yeah it's only the easy starts it's annoying yeah you said 0.07 g's <laughs> Shoot the hydrogen tank. I don't even think I brought a gun with me, but I could spawn one in. I will blow this thing up 100% for the end of the stream. <laughs> you got to you got to do those things sometimes, don't you? Yeah. It's uh it's one of the things I find really fun about playing Icarus is um every time I play it once we get to the end of the mission, we burn our house down. Oh, that's kind of fun. Because it's because it's mission based, and every time you drop, it's a new start. Um, burning your house down does not cost you anything; is actually just fun. Jump drives cannot be used to jump in a natural gravity field. Let's drop that down a bit. Just drop it down like halfway. And try See to jump. Work. And if it doesn't work, then you're screwed. Yeah, it doesn't work. And then it's just, it's broken. He's broken. So just, just, yeah, it's broken. So teleport yourself there. Uh, about there should be right. Oops, that's slightly in gravity. Oh, well, whatever. Eh, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> good enough for the second place. Yeah, good enough for what we're doing today. Yeah. Not I mean, good. You're only going to be off from my time by like 15 minutes or less. Like. Yeah. Closer than I thought it was going to be earlier on. Like, it's not like he was like, oh, yeah, I'm done. All right. See you in a few hours. You know, sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of. I. I felt like the two of us were going to be relatively close. It wasn't going to be like, say if I say if either of us tried to do this race against Capac, even if he was really trying, I think there's so much he doesn't know about how the game plays at the start that he just, he wouldn't be able to hold all of that strategy together. Um, mm -hmm. And he'd probably end up being at, you know, seven, eight hours, I think. Yeah. I don't know why I'm not falling at 104 meters a second and just at 100. Weird. Something I was oh. thinking of doing, though. Do you have... Oh, you have your um, overrides on. Oh, do I? Oh, yeah. That helped. Thank you. Chat suggested I do this, too. Oops, I'm in creative mode. Still had enough. Uh, we're in separate saves, so there's no value in me trying to land near Kanajashi. He is in a completely separate save file. Do a barrel roll? Sure. Barrel roll! 441.43. I totally think I can do this. I totally reckon with the right focus I could get this down to three hours. I think you'd have, what I think to do to get it down to that kind of time frame is you're going to have to um, do some more, like, I need this much resources exactly. Yeah. And do some routing of, like, I need to go get it. Like, a load of iron, load of nickel, load of cobalt, then a load yeah. of iron, then a load of iron, then a load of gold, then a load of iron. Like, 
it has to be like you've got a formula. Yeah, you're just, possibly. You're just working through the list instead of actually just being like, oh, what do I need right now sort of thing. Uh, no blueprints allowed, Kitsu. Thanks for 14 months, just a mechanic. You can run in the same game cooperatively. Try to do something harder. Yeah, I think I think um I'm keen to do this a few times just to see how far we can go without getting like super, super ridiculously OCD over it. Um and then yeah, I'd be I'd be down for getting community submitted challenges to see how quickly the two of us can work together to get something done. Because then working together, we'd probably have more downtime where we can still make things pretty with it at, without it dramatically affecting the overall time. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I thought I'd find at least an AI station by now. I've been flying around on Mars for a while. Oh yeah, you should check to see how long it takes you to break. Ah, she'll be right, mate. I can always All just right, land on luck. the jump drive. No, I really can't. The landing is attached to it. Probably don't want it to be destroyed. Well, look in your chat. Here comes Splatsy. <laughs> yep. That's probably one of the most um, convenient things for someone for my name to have, considering the number of times I do that without any intent to do so. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang it. Ooh, unknown signal. I'm going for that unknown come signal. On, come on, come on, come on. Locked. Dang it, stupid computer, why didn't you stop the timer? <laughs> Arr. Four hours, 44 minutes, 52 is when it stopped. Or as chat keeps saying, four hours, 44, 44. Because it took me about eight seconds to get the thing to fix. So we'll just stick with four hours, 44, 44, I guess. Sure. Well, that was fun, man. Yeah, that was a blast. I am going to try and beat your time. Uh, I'm not sure when, but I'm oh, going to try to. No, it, you only have to shave 20 minutes off. That's easy. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I should be able to do that. And then you can see how far, how much you can beat that time by. We'll see how we go. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, you can get your save working. Otherwise, um, hopefully something else can fill in the time while waiting for the mods to update. That really sucks. Oh, yeah. I'll figure out something. I could always just do some, like, uh, other stuff. Hmm. Well, or I could just take a break, too. You could. You could. Congratulations, anyway, man. You won fair and square. Good job. Yay! <laughs> um, and now what is this unknown signal going to give me? Kenna Jashi will be back as my nemesis uh, on my Monday, your Sunday. Uh, and I guess we'll be back once he can get something else going. And I'll be back for that when that happens. So there's all that and plenty more to go. And plenty more to come, not plenty more to go. And I guess we'll see you then. Thanks for coming, mm -hmm. everybody. Yeah, thank you for the, the race. It was really fun. And I look forward to... Seeing you try to beat it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, I think I'll need some luck. See you later, everyone.